and still show up with huge numbers out there. Though they may have actually struggled hitting into late game uh, in most part, but when it comes down to them getting a lead, they usually can propel themselves forward and just look at how aggressive they play. They like to basically get in the face of their enemies. And of course, look for those opening pigs out there. So far, players that we really have to look out for, of course, Alexi, as well as Hunt Jaeger. These two guys will be able to carry the game if the cards were dealt right. So them have been able to also find great openings uh, for the teams as well. But when we do compare the numbers though, you can already see Zerdum, his numbers does stack up well against Chaz. Though, of course, they suffered more losses compared to RRQ. He still holds high value in the team. Yeah, I mean, think like one of the weaknesses though for Echo Fortis that I've noticed uh, so far in these group stages is a, a, a tendency to be indecisive sometimes, especially when your opponents are ahead. So let's hope that they're going to be able to tighten things up coming into uh, this matchup Wait, here. Wait, guys! They've already had the experiences uh. of having fought against some of the best squads right now in this uh, Snapdragon Pro series. So hopefully they've learned a lot in their journey so far. So here's hoping that Charles and Sir Dumb are going to be us a good show coming into our first matchup yeah, for today. Bomb. That's right, and you know, since I was absent for the past week, I I've noticed that, hey, they got a brand new logo as well as a <laughs> sick new jersey. I wish I could get my hands on that and just look at it being so fierce. So, and I I it, it, right? so uh, when it comes down to these two teams head-to-head, -head, of course, track and side, na rin yung I think that Echo Ford is are still yung really sa Dati, uh, black hair yan eh. Ngayon, blonde na. Panis. Wala na si, ano, si Shaco. Nagpahinga na si Shaco. Really wanna be down under where you've already seen them. HBD. HBD. We'll having that one win much early on, on the first week itself. But going up against RQ, sure, it may be stack cards. But I think that there's still a lot of room that they could basically pull off surprises against the Titans out there. Yeah, speaking of surprises, maybe Ding you dong. guys at home can surprise us a little bit. But Ding let dong. us know what your predictions are going Amo to be. Itlog. Amo itlog. Amo Go ahead and vote Yo, in the Twitch itlog. chat right now. Tino kalaban ng RQ ngayon? Ano? Are going to be our predictions the... though. We predict echo, echo. Echo. We're going to be able to sweep this series. That's why I, I sweated things up. Yung Indo team na may dalawang you know, Pinoy. My name's Contra. I'm a little bit more contradicting <laughs> that way. Pero medyo, yeah. medyo, medyo sure na mint naman RQ. Kaso siyempre. Bagong patch. Malay mo may secret ano. My secret strat. Bawang patch pa naman to. Last ang AP. Bawal pa yata Gwen dito eh. Kasi two days pa lang siya out. Most likely pag buwede si Gwen next week pa. Ano first batch kayo na yan? Ito nyo na oh. RQ Echo. Tapos yung Nigma. Maganda yun. Gusto yun sa Nigma. Nigma Evos. Ang ganda yan. Yeah, I mean, if you look even at their current performances and especially where they're placed on the list. Understanding the RG win streak pa sila, win streak sila ngayon, win streak. That's how I made my prediction, so I don't know about you, but nevertheless, though, uh, Echo Fortis had never really bawal backed down the fight as far as I've seen. You ah, bawal lang yung Gwyn. Oh, bawal yung Gwyn. Bawal talaga, Gwyn. Dalawang araw pa lang eh. Maybe even the most perfect draft. Pero yung mga bagong item, pwedeng pwede na. Mga Rift Maker, yung Kormit, yung Enchantment. Straight stream ba to? Hanggang Hanggang third game lang, hanggang third game lang. First, second, tsaka third game yung ego stream ko today. Sometimes they come very indecisive. They they don't know whether they want to start a fight or whether they want to commit to actually doing the fights. Palag palag ng mga PH team natin dito. Hindi ka tulad sa isa. Sayang, nawalat. They do have potential. They do have very skilled players in Chaz and Sir Dom. Pero hindi pa naman sila tanggal. First match pa lang ba? First match pa lang. Tagal mag-start. Game na! Oy! Uy! Ano yan? Ayan na, RQ boys are back. Asan si Coach? Asan si Coach Kaigu? Napahinga na naman si Marky. Napahinga na naman si Marky. Sakit ng Riftmaker Leandri. Oo, malakas yung Riftmaker Leandri. Bigay mo na old CP mo, Lods. Pang Warzone Mobile lang. Grabe naman. Bibigay ka na nga CP ka, tas Warzone pa. Ano oras ka nagising? Uh, 9.30, ganun. Uy, si manager. Hello, manager. Oh, oh sira yung camera. Nagayos na sila ng camera. Asan si Renzel? Nagtatago. Sino pa yung sa Echo? Si 3ZL, tsaka si Yulek Sight. Itong dalawa. 
Gamitin ko ang epic pen para para ma, para makatuwa. Even those new patches that have made certain adjustments, it still has high impact in the professional scene overall. So, ay nasa na yun. Echo Ford is I really want to see what those two bands are because that will basically see uh, how RQ would be drafting into this. With them banning that Senna will mean that there's no pesky Senna Nasus combo. Tanda ba? Yan. O di ba? Galing, galing, galing. Naglalaro ka ba kahit off-stream ka? Oo. Need daw Pinoy coach ng Echo. Go ka na. Anong coach Pinoy coach? Bakit kailangan Pinoy? Parang secret weapon sa si Margie. True. Pang playoffs na naman siya. Si ano nagpapractice ng papapapapa. Nakita ko ah. Nagtitiktok. Si Viper yata yun eh. Ano may ano pang tour na ngayon na may Pilipin sa Wild Rift sir? Eto, ngayon. Nod ka ngayon. Pag di mo kami ginod luck, di tayo bati. <laughs> Good luck. Kaso mahalas ako yun, no? Nagtitiktok. Oh. Pop, pop, pop. Chillin lang ah. Uy, Nasus first pick ah. Spicy. Now, That set will be in consideration once again. Diesel na katalik talikod ah. Ano standing na RQ whole game? Ano standing na RQ whole game? Ah, di ko alam. Alam ko three three one yata sila three one. Pag nanalo sila dito parang sure na sila sure Thailand na sila. Kasi medyo malabo na yung makahabol yung bottom three teams. See you like side pin, ayo. Nasu support. Experimental, lah, mana? Ayo separuh kau nasa gilid. Dua lagi coach kau, aku masih sakit yata. Ada kaya yang ini. Ada apa? Apa pare sa aso? Wala nang karma, wala nang Sena. Nag-first pick na sa spa din. Ulexite Annihilation vs. Ay, hindi pa ka, ah, hindi makalipad si Ulexite na immigration. Same pala sila kay, ano, same class pala si Coach kay Coach Mel. Pare sila di pinatawid ng immigration. Sad naman, sayang. Along kutan. Ay, gagi. Sorry. I think it's definitely necessary. And they're going up against RQ. We'll see the Ilias pulling wonderful plays over the mid lane, of course, on the sea fights. Or ano to? Top Nasus. Asia Invitationals. He just popped off on those. Morgana or Ziggs. Ah, Ziggs. But di nang si Ziggs tong Echo. Wala ko Echo magzig sa di ito. Open pa si Ziggy boy yo. Unless iba ng RQ. Kailangan nila ng AP. Or binibig, or binibait na lang yung Ziggs. Nag-invest ka din BTC, Bitcoin. Hmm, naglagay ako. Pero AFK muna. AFK malala muna. 3.4. Latest patch na to guys. Latest patch. Dating RG si Ulexite. Oh, yung, dat, yung dalawang import na eh. Dating RG yung dalawang to eh. Si Ulexite tsaka si 3ZL. Pada lagi yang bini bit nello, Lux, Lux player ya tata si Ulex itu pun dia nak bawa mali. Aje, ADC player kasi sih, kaya di sini nak bawa nang AP, four kilang. Kau stream apa NGX third series? Oh. Yang pinsan ko pabiru sumagat sa immigration, di pinayagan lumipad. Ini talaga, ini harap talaga pag harap talaga ng Disneyland. Ano ba sa IGN? What pa din atak? Bila ro siya kayaon? In game na yon, three minutes sila yon stream eh. Wow, Jinami. Oh, Ash, Ash, nasus nga, Ash support yata to eh. Ash Mandate. This is the Ash Mandate tech. Experiment, experiment. Dito naman sa kabila, Gragos mid. Or even mid. 
But the thing is that I'm, I'm a little bit uh, skeptical about the Jin pick though because I don't think. Reps may laban sila Mirms na Os versus Three X Al dito sa ilo ilo buwas labo nila. Which especially fights where especially the the knock up and. Bawal pa Gwen, bawal pa si Gwen eh. Oh nga, Ash support sabi ni, it's the mandate check eh. Throwback sa Ash ni Moraita Boy, true. Moraita Boy, the OG Ash. The OG Ash support. Tsaka si Stronger, alam ko naga Ash support din yun eh. Well, it's definitely interesting to see this comp all together because Ramly Lana, R.I.P. It's the mandate tech. Di makalaro na os, nakakapos lang at talaga. Ano nakalagay? Na os esports. Bakit? Kala ko pupunta silang Thailand. Ah, Thailand tule ilo ilo. Due to health related concern. Ah. Hello, hello na si Floor. Inter. Intermediate break. Kiss me, Smuna. Thank you, Floor. Inter, inter, indetermina, indeterminate, interdeterminate. Ande maglalaro parin sila o. Magpapalit lang sila ng roster siguro. Nakita ko na yung bagong support nila. Nag-CN na eh. Ewan ko lang kung ba pwede siya i-announce. Mas viable pa Ash support kesa sa traditional ADC. Puy, pwede rin. Oh, wala na yung V-Wise. R.I.P. V-Wise. Pak isang buwan lang. Ito na yung bagong jungle, oh. Wow, may pagganitan silang ano ah, production ah. Looking good. I-announce mo na hindi. I-announce mo na hindi ka naman susumbong. Antayin mo na lang ito official. Pero kilala nyo na. Marami na may kilala nun. Alam nyo na rin kung sino. Hindi lang ang mag-name drop pero alam nyo na kung sino yun eh. Hindi naman siya sobrang tagu eh. Kasi nag-change name na siya eh. Alright, Kiwin to. Sure naman. Ganda na draft nila eh. Yung draft ng Echo pang early game lang. Naka-electrocute pa si ano, Gragas. Xerox? Oo nga, no? Pwede pala Xerox. Well, oo nga, no? Free agent Xerox. Uy, ba't ganun? Nanonood yung isa. Naghang yung camera. Creep. Naghang yung camera ng Echo. Ay, pande yung parehas pala sila. Ala. Ay, hindi. Gumagalaw yung sa RQ. Sa Echo lang talaga, hindi gumagalaw. Gumagalaw yung mga daliri ng RQ boys, eh. In-game lang talaga. Naos rocks. Di natin mas di ako sa sabi. Malay, matanong niya siya. Kasi na. Tayo lang mong yung kasi din sa lino. Anyare sa Riven, pero lana siyang buhay. Di naman siya nagangkan. Mid gap. So Lee Sin gonna continue to try to roam mostly around this river here, just collecting information more like. Absent our boss. Oh nga, ina na panap kita eh. Wala, bawas, bawas, bawas sa sahod. Uy lag, prod, prod. Tama na altab, bakak naman. Thank you. Wow, Srebenga, wow. Double font of life? Kaya yun ko lang nakita yung spell nila sa bot. Nagsastack ba? Ah, naka double, ano sila oh? Double support item? Sabi na eh, gagana to eh. Yung double support item. It's the double sickle meta. Double sickle, double font. Sabi ko. Being the substitute to Senna. Although it doesn't really come with heals, but you can have permanent CC when you're going up against the RQ bomb lane. 
where you're just going to be slowed up, especially with uh, the Wither on top of every single auto attack that Exosin does. Yeah, they will definitely make Echo Fortius think twice before making any sort of a drastic measure. But going up against a Jin as well as Nami, naturally, you just have to be uh, good pa sila. Pag tumama araw ng Ash, so, comet sa mukha. Neutralized overall. Tignan mo yung gold, oh. Di sila lugi sa gold. Almost same gold lang. Ah, hindi. Lamang sila sa gold, oh. 2-9 yung Nasus, 2-9 yung Ash. Yung Nami, 2-3 pa lang, oh. 700 gold lead. But ang lag! Fraud! Baka naman. Lipat tayo. Hang on a sec. It looks like they're piling up into the top lane a little bit, but no, it looks lag. like the calls come through here for both Lee and Lag ba talaga yung stream? Di sa akin, di sa akin yung lag. Nasa prod, nasa prod. Ay, hindi, lag talaga. Pati dito sa YouTube, lag din, no? Especially now that the objective is going to be coming out in just a few moments now. So, Hyde, Trizel still continuing to lane up in the top here. Well, uh, that's the double support item tech. Kailangan ni patch to. Hindi sila lugi sa gold, oh. Comet. Ayun, nakaka-comet yung Nami, oh. Comet first item. Maganda yung comet sa... Kung sino man mag-start sa first dragon, pag namamatay yung dragon, lagyan mo ng comet, sabog lahat ng tao dun, eh. Tapos, ang ganda lakas pa ng comet early game. 300 damage yata comet early game, eh. Kaya pag napatama mo siya, 300-400 damage. Sabog. Hindi siya scaling. Uy, sayang. Muntik na magagaw. Bawal pa gawin, bawal pa gawin. Comet. Kasa si Helios. Ako po, masyado siyang umasim. Umasim si Sir Dam dun ah. Di siguro nila inakala na magsiswitch yung Arki sa bot. Akala nila mag-isa lang si Helios. Bigla na lang may Ash na sus lumabas eh. Good rotation. Pinambangga lang yung ano. Pinambangga lang yung Herald sabay uwi. Mind games. The mind games. Pa Iwas trade. Oh, what's up? Ang asim naman nun. Oh my goodness. Pero patay yata si Helios. Common trade lang. Evolve na yung ano nila. Evolve na yung... Yung stocks nila. Yung meta. Sapa sa RG. O nga eh. Mahala na. Double support item na sa RG. Ito yung sinabi ko sa patch nung, nung nag-ano sa patch notes breakdown eh. Yung double targon. Binasa ko si description eh. Parang pwede nga siya eh. Since kahit di makalasit, makukuha mo yung 100% gold. Tsaka lang ko may bug. May bug. May pinost na bug eh. Ewan ko lang kung may pinost na bug nakita ako regarding sa Targon. Hanapin nga lang mamaya. Di na ba viable mag-build AP Yumi? Di na masyado eh. Kasi kailangan na, kasi na-nerf yung AP ratio niya. Pero pwede pa rin, gusto ko pilitin. Aray! Kaso yung, yung line-up ng Echo pang early game, hindi sila makalid. Hmm. 
uh, his leveling for now, but then focusing the attention onto the push now. Looks like Exorcist cool. is gonna try to get a trade on, on HP. Ramley here, and it will get the kill done because it has a 1v3, but that will be in trade for that first turret being taken down on our RQ side. It's still gonna be in favor of RQ. They managed to not only get a turret from the bombs. Diba nagana's new support item. Ano? Gamit na nila. Nakasikal yung nami, tas nakatargon yung Ash at Nasus. I do like the uh, implementation of how they've been able to Interesting lang yung double phone kung nags di yata na nagsa-stack yun eh pero gusto ng nila siguro sa sustain Actually kasi mag-area sa Ash Double airy double scorch ayun na double comet sabi ni eh, magko-comet tong dalawa eh pag tumama araw sa bugang mundo <laughs> Let's go. Stole the sampung comet sa isang team fight eh. More comet please. Oh boy. Uy, nasipa ka so nga lang ang kunat ng sinipa niya. Ay no, boom. Mamatay na yung listen sa comet men. <laughs> Love trip. Ano yung Meteor na item? Ayan o, yung Daya na Meteor. Meteor. Riff Herald is already up. That opening now has given an opportunity for Kha'Zix to go ahead and solo that Riff Herald now. And then this is gonna be, this is gonna pay dividends now. Next week pwede na go. Hindi ko pa alam eh. Hindi ko alam sa ESL. Siguro. Pag na nasa, hindi na lalaro na rin, naroon na rin si Viper gumamit ng mga non-ADC. Kasi masyadong predictable kasi pag ginawa nilang ADC only si Viper eh. Kasi pag kalaban mo RQ, ay, pag ADC to, sige, huwag nang datin ba yung AP. Mga ganun. At least pag ganito, alam niya gamitin both AP, AD, tsaka mga bruiser tank. League of Meteorites. Oh, nasipa. Nice kick. Huli ah. Pero okay lang. Kung RQ, chill lang naman. Chill. Hala, Chaz! Hala, ito. Hindi nakitrending. Nag-stone plate. Mabait. <laughs> Pero maganda dito sa Echo. Nakukuha na lang Dragon, ha? Oh. Pag nastaka na lang Dragon, kaya pa nila manala dito. Unless. Unless. Wala, wala. Too late. Wala siyang vision. Hindi niya makita. Effective ba kung umit late game? O yun na araw! Nahuli yun nami! Hindi siya... Pag nag-MR na yun, gagana pa rin siya. Okay pa rin naman siya kahit late game. 500 damage kasi siya eh, kaya sobrang OP ng early game. Tapos late game, sakto lang. Hindi siya scaling, hindi siya 100 to 500, 1 to 15. 500 agad eh, pagdabili mo eh. Tsaka max HP. Ay, sorry, hindi pala 500 damage. 35% max HP. So, mapa early game, mapa late game, gagana pa rin yung Meteor. Oh, nice arrow. Walang comet. Ah, CD yung comet. Hindi na comet yung Ash. May mandate yung Ash. Oh, mandate talaga yun. But this certainly is going to force them to try to respond to this now as we do see Ramley trying to bring Chase a C hindi siya hindi scaling hindi siya scaling na 10 to 25 yung Comet ah yung Meteor ay ba't kasi Comet tawag ko dito nasanay na kasi ako sa Arcane Comet eh ay na Renekton naka Meteor na rin hahaha tatlong Meteor na sasabog maganda rin siyang pang wave clear mini Ziggs ultimate but they've been able to at least neutralize it with some of these More, more, more meteor, please. Ilios, bawa nama n meteor kan aren. Oh, rift maker, oh, bawa ng item. Tapos may mandate yung ash. Meteor garden. Oh, ilang mas gusto ko li, mas gusto ko marami meteor kaysa sa maraming stone plate. Ano? Buu, sabog sabog. Um, sabog yung Dragas. Ayun na, nagwawala na yung dalawang Brusco Brothers. Yung magkapatid, Red Nasus Renekton. Boom! Meteor. Magto-30 na yung kasi. Asim naman nun. Oh, 
hold up, mosok ng level 13 pa si, si Helios. Tapos na rin, tsaka parang redemption. Ayun na, Gragas nag meteor na rin na nakitrending. Ah, meteor kayo, ah, alright, meteor na rin. Let's go! Nag-QSS tuloy yung Jin. Gumagana ba yung Luden sa Meteor? Parang po, parang gumagana yun. Ay, di ko alam. Di ko alam kung gumagana Luden sa Meteor eh. Na new meta? Na new meta ang RQ? Si Helios ayaw bumili ng Meteor. <laughs> sa bagay, di, di niya kasi kailangan. Kasi din naman kasi siya. Yung Riven na Meteor na rin. <laughs> Nakit na rin Di na sila sa Stone Plate. Na half trip. Boom! Boom! <laughs> May sumasabog na Meteor sa baba. Eh, Helios so, tamang linis lang. Asa pa. Ung mm, tapangat lang meteor. Patay ang asa din. Tapos sa iyo. Hindi, actually pwede pa rin stone plate. Nakatawa lang tignan niya meteor. But... Hindi ko lang alam kung mas pataas yung heal ng Redemption or yung bawas sa Meteor. Yan din yung isa kong iniisip. Kasi problema ko sa si Redemption, pwede siya ma-reduce sa anti-healing eh. Yung Meteor, kailangan mo buwili ng MR. Kasi magic damage siya. Limit testing. Oh, meteor shower talaga. Tayo na, anim na Meteor sa isang teamfight. Pag uh, kailangan mo talaga, kailangan nyo na mag-upgrade ng... Kailangan niya na mag-upgrade ng phone pag sabay-sabay itong lumabas sa teamfight. Wala nang bawas sa Demsha. Oo oh, nga, wala nang dramas. Ay, nagana ng Serpent's Fang yung Lee no? Para saan? Ah, sa Nasus. Nasus lang naman, eh. Oh, Arrow. Ayun, buti na deny na lang yung Dragon. Ewan ko lang kung pwede mag-last hit ng Meteor ng objective. Ayun na, sumasabog na ang mundo, men. Ang daming lumalabas. Wow, mamatay na yung ano nami. Sa pang-Meteor. Pero natatala pa RQ, ha? Asim kasi nila, eh. Masyado sila natutuwa maglawa. Masyado sila natutuwa. Halatang halata eh. Asim nila maglaban. Okay pa din redemption doon sa teamfight. Okay pa rin naman redemption. Inisip ka lang ano, ano, ano mas mataas na bawas. <laughs> Pinalitan niya yung meteor niya. <laughs> Stone plate na lang. Nag-trending eh. Ayun, Aro. Kaso may Q. Ay, saan yung QSS niya? Not worth yung QSS niya dun. Bilis pa naman ang CD ng ulti ng Ash. Tignan mo yung ulti ng Ash, oh. Kaka kaka kakagamit niya lang. Mag-up na siya. Ito mo, up na yung ulti ng Ash, oh. Parang 20, 20 seconds, 10 seconds yung ulti ng Ash. Wala na damage redemption. Oh nga, healing siya. It's either yung healing ng Redemption or yung damage ng Meteor mas mataas. Yan ang pinaglalaban ko. Twenty seconds. Hupal naman. Pwede mong gamitin dalawang beses sa team fight. Ganda pa naman ang Ash sa comp ng Echo kasi ang lambot nila eh. Wala silang taga sila ng araw. Oh, naku po. Mali yung Kembot. Dapat pataas. Uy, team fight. Sino namatay? Ala, RQ is kinda throwing, ha? RQ. Oh! Oh, prod! Oh, alam ko. Nagwala na yung prod. Oh, 
Ang panala ng pana, oh. Panala ng pana, guys. Ba't ganun? Parang controller na si Ash imbis na damage dealer. Parang na... Controller naman talaga siya, eh. Controller na may damage. Saka support siya. Pag nag-double... Tignan mo yung Ash, oh. Pag nag-double siya, tapos tumama. May mandate agad. Pwede mong pasabugin. Additional damage. Tapos pag may... Ano yun? Deep. Pangat ang cleaver. Ano pwede naman siya ma-cleaver kung gusto niya? Nag-ano siya? Serpent's Fang? Ganun yung Serpent's Fang para sa Raven dito. Third skill pati Stone Plate. Pero yung Serpent's Fang nerf siya eh. Pag range, 30% lang. Hindi siya 50%. Wala kanina pa dito mat... Pala na nung pala. Kahit dito mama, okay lang. Pwede rin pang vision. O, pwede rin pang vision. Pwede din mandate Nasus. Di nagsastock yung mandate. Kaya dapat isang mandate per team lang. Kasi sayang. Di nila masusulit yung passive na mandate. A 35% ba? Sorry, 35% pala pag range. Ito, pinagsasabugan ng Meteor habang nag-ult yung Jin eh. Pero feel ko maganda kahit isang ano lang, isang Redemption. Parang maganda rin maglagi ng isang Redemption eh. Lakit walang kwenta na eh. Unless Ziggs kalaban mo. Siguro yun lang pwede mag-redemption, mag-ano lakit. Pero Echo, pumapalag palag ha. Kahit lugi sila late game. Ah, di nagpakunat yung Nasus. Nag-damage siya. Kaya pala medyo malambot yung frontline ng RQ. Item lock na yung Nasus oh. Yung Ash pa. Yung Ash Nasus, item lock na. <laughs> yung Nami, dami pang item. Dalawa pang item oh. Mas nauna pa mag-item lock yung dubot ng RQ kaysa sa kasa din. Pati sa kaya Kha'Zix. Oh, Echo, YOLO. YOLO na. Kailangan nila i-flip to, for sure. Oh my goodness. Still? Jungle Diff? Uy, nakuha ng ano, Gragas. Oh no! Oh no! Pero chill. Yan, napatay Lee Pwede na yan. Hindi sila makapag-baron. Nakabawi pa. Nakabawi pa yung Echo. Nagka-damage na yung Gragas. Okay, sobrang kampandi kasi nila eh. Di sila nang, ano, di sila nang bebate. Two stacks, oh ano, two stacks. Hindi naman gumagana yung stack sa Elder ngayon eh. Flat damage na siya. Wala, di nalalakas yung RQ eh. Ang sakit ng Jin, oh. Sobrang sakit ng Jin. Item lock na yung Jin, oh. Tapos may Infernal siya. Two stacks. Two stacks ang Infernal. Pag di pinansin yung Jin sa Clash, sabog yan. Tapos may ano pa, Nami. Third skill lang Nami. Tapos may Mandate. Mandate stack. Di ko nga alam kung ba't nag-Ardent siya, pero kaya mo na. Yung Gragas, kaya mong one hit. E-flash lang, patay na. Ako po. Kung ako yung Renekton, mag-stone plate na ako. Oh, kitang-kita. Ako po, nabuking yung dalawa. Okay, okay. RQ, chill. Antayin nyo lang yung arrow. Wala kasi yung armor yung ano, Nasus, kaya ang lambot. Naka-pure AP siya. May pinoy sa Echo, dalawa. Yung yung Dragos, Dragos, tsaka yung Jin. Si Chess pala naka-R Evolve. Wala siyang pakpak. Ayun na, item lock na yung Echo. Nakahabol na sila sa item. 
Naka GA na rin. Naku, nasipa pa. Nahuli pa. Arrow. Slow. Third skill. Mandate. Kasa din with the flank. Yun, huli yung Jin. Yun, patay yung Jin. Kasa patay din siya. Na burst. Double comet. Boom, boom. Oh my god. Palag-palag. Wala sila mapatay. Wala kasi siyang pakpak. <laughs> parang ano, parang di worth yung R upgrade niya. Kung nakapakpak siya, feel ko kaya niya ubusin yun. Wala siyang third skill upgrade eh. Pagod yung Kha'Zix eh. Pulang sa lipad. Di nakapag-reset na maayos. It's really a huge risk that Zerdom uh, did right there because Hyde, he had his Garden Angels available. So even if he does get that pick up, you're still going to be uh, hip available in the next few minutes. And that gives R2 enough time to trade right back. Found themselves Hun Jaeger as well as Yuxal. But it still stands. Both sides of the jungler still have the Garden Angels. Penta sa ano nga eh. Sayang, penta no. Hindi nga na niya nagamit yung stone plate niya no. Kasi di mapag stone plate yung Renekton kasi naka dapat zone niya na lang siguro no. Maganda rin zone niya. Dahil na serpent's fang eh. Pag may serpent's fang parang nakakapagod na mag stone plate. Ayun may nahuli sila. Kaso nga lang trade. Naku po wala sa pwesto yung kasa din. Nagsa split push. Lamang na lamang yung RRQ sa clash eh. Na outlay lang sila. Lagi silang out of position. Kaya nakakalamang yung echo. Ayun na, bilis sila mag, ano, ayun. Pinagsa, pinagpapoke sila, Meteor. Bugum. Wala nang buhay yung Jin. Oh, hindi nakuha yung Elder. Nakuha na naman ng Gragas yun. Buy time, buy time. Kasa win. Kasa win with the backdoor. Basag. Tapos ang lol. Ginawa na ni Helios ang paborito niya. Backdoor. <laughs> Typical. Typical RQ. Binackdoor na lang. Limit testing. Limit testing. Limit testing. Malala. XPK. O ano XPK? Kasa din. Kasa din backdoor. Focus sa goal. XPK. Throw yung mechanics sa by backdoor, toot. Sa ito meteor, 25% HP eh. Maganda siya sa AP eh, kasi pag nag void stuff, lalakasin yung meteor. Wait lang, basahin ko nga ulit yung stats na binibigay na. Nag-practice sa turun eh. Malakas kasi yung Gragas yung damage niya Kaya mataas din yung chance na makapag-steal yung Gragas Pag sinabay yung QR, halos same damage sa smite eh Binewa yung Echo sa backdoor pero sa oh nga no Kahapon sa ano, sa kabila You know, kinombo ng Gragas, Q, Q, E. Wait lang, basahin ko nga ang binibigay na itong Meteorite. Hindi, pero mas natuwa ako sa double support item. Yung Meteor, feel ko, ano lang yun eh. Flavor of the day lang yun eh. Hindi talaga siya sobrang ano. Yung redemption Ah 25 to 375 yung redemption Hindi siya percentage Tapos yung meteor Depende sa max HP Magic damage Maganda meteor pag maraming tanky kalaban no sa mga Sena siguro, pwede to. Kasi magkatabi lahat eh. Tinanggal na sila si Marky. Mission na naman si Marky. Andyan pa siya. 
some of those uh, fights there but you can see even from this uh, uh even this one here kinilig the teammate ko dahil dalawa na elder nila eh di lang nila ma-close out kasi wala silang side walang may kaya sa kasa din but nag-aantay heal di ko di ko nakita yung item nila Naka Font of Life kasi yung kalaban, nga gano'n yung untail sa Font of Life. Which goes to show that, you know, if things had gone well for Echo Fortis in the earlier stages of the game, perhaps it would have been much closer. Bawal sa Mira, sir. Pwede na sa Mira sayang dito. Mirap kasi pull off sa Mira sa Arj, uh, sa ano eh, 5v5 eh. Kasi kailangan protektado. Pero feel ko pwede sa Mira eh. Kailangan lang gawa ng composition para makapag-stack at maprotektahan siya pag nag-ulti. Pag mag pag 5v5 kasi pag tas may Samira sa kalaban ang gagawin lang yung isang player babantayan lang yung Samira pag nag-ulti cancel agad tas wala nang gagawin yung Samira wala kasi masyadong bawa sa Samira pag walang hindi na pag SS or pag na-cancel SS niya getting ourselves ready for our upcoming game but of course we definitely have to thank everybody who has been able to make this possible of course Snapdragon may gumamit na sa Brazil oh ang pwede sa Samira this one was a beautiful win for our RQ yeah indeed and Si Marky sa ano na yan, pag kailangan na manalo, Arky doon na, na, na siya lalabas. Oh, usually Morgana, Shen pwede sa Samir. Mga ganun, Morgana, Shen, Kale. Kailangan may taga-protect sa Samir pag pumasok siya. Kung hindi. Pero kahit na eh. Pag na-cancel yung SS niya, wala na rin. Medyo pagod ulit siya. So my name is Victor Cax, joining me here is Contra, and we'll be right back after this break. Sarasona bot. Tinray ng RG Sarasona eh, kaso di nila na pull off. Maganda yung Senasona kapag AFK, kapag harap-harapa na teamfight. Yan pwede. Ito ang baba ng sounds. Ah, may interview pala dito. Rebs pa shoutout kay Shiro. Di ba aso mo yun? Nakakarinig ba ng aso mo yung English ng shoutout? Thailand and Vietnam, they are very good team. We will have a very hard time. Say na sa may nagsay na sa yon na sa ano? Sa Thailand. Win against them. Actually, our in this tournament. Irma slow from the bomb lane. Kailan nagash si Exo? Ngayon lang. First time niya magash sa kompe. Present, medyo busy na sa school, kaya di na nanong nod. Okay lang yan. Nakaway ako ni Abby. Binigigil mo kasi. Any top tier meta champions ngayon. Ay, yung mga ginagamit na mga to. Listen. Depende sa kasi sa lane. Tsaka depende yung solo kiyo kompe. Medyo magkaiba kasi. Listen, Lucian, Jace. Yan. Renekton. Ayan, kahit kailan, maganda yun. Hindi na, never magiging bad pick yun. Parang gumagana sa lahat ng dueling dalawang. Gumagana nga, kahit nga Nami, kahit nga Nami, tsaka Lulu gamit mo, gagana pa rin Redic Shield. Uh, well, either the uh, ribbon or so over the mid lane. But overall, I think it's not just about Exosyn. It's uh, great coordination coming from every single member of RRQ. We've seen some really good attempts uh, with those sort of setups to enable Helios to propel up ahead. But now, hitting the second battle here, I'm definitely interested to see how it Grabe yung laruan sa China. Oh, lahat kang laban ng sa China, close game lang. Pagdating sa top teams, wala talagang dominating team sa China. Nasa lalagi yung mag-first place. Ba't ganda ng screen? Iba yung UI nila eh. Pero di ko lang trip yung minimap. So, so far, it's going to be only the Jace has been banned out here. Seekala Relic, ano mas maganda? Depende, pag tank, usually tank Relic, 
website as well. Enchanter Seagull. So, a bit of a change around game as RQ bans out the Yumi for their end. Yeah, and we do expect a pick like uh comma to still be active. Tricky talaga pag show money depende sa pupunta niya. Iba required 3 months dapat ando na yung pera before the application. Yung iba 6 months. Oh. Ah, sa visa. Hindi, kapag, kapag ano lang naman eh. Ayun sa ano, sa BAP. Pero kapag from PH sa Thailand, alam ko di naman kailangan ng visa ng Thailand eh. Passport lang. Tsaka mga pusot sa immigration. Uh, I think it will still work out for our RQ. So, banning that. Any tips para mapansin ako ng crush ko? <laughs> Bakit nandito mga tunong mo tungkol sa love life? Sigil kay Sena. Oh, sigil kay Sena. Oh, basta support. Uh, any assassination attempt coming out of Helios. So, no Zed. And in response, RQ wanna open up more doors up ahead. Take out Olaf. But bear in mind. Nagbinaban pa rin si Yumi. Still have that Cassidy. Annoying pa din eh, pero in the future feel ko pwede niya yata i-open. Ano lang, safety ban. Yung third skill kasi ng Yumi, binago lang yung ano, ginawa siyang... Parang maganda yung third skill ng Yumi kasi... Kapag lagi kang umakatake. Kasi yung third, dating third skill ng Yumi, isang cast lang, isang mabilis na move speed. Ngayon, mas maraming move speed na na makukuha mo. Tsaka malakas pa rin Yumi kahit na kayong chanter build. Hindi naman niya kailangan mag-AP lagi eh. Mas OP lang yung AP. Pero kahit yung chanter build, palag-palag na rin yung Yumi. Tips po pa kung paano mag-listen para pagsipa balik ka na at least. Daming hugot ah. Yeah, I do believe that with this sort of picks, we give, we have a lot more stability for Echo, uh, for this overall. If you want to need visa, de pag Southeast Asia di kailangan. Pag Southeast Asia country di kailangan ng visa. Outside si lang may chance, depende sa bansa outside si. Pero lahat ng siya di kailangan ng visa. They can opt to. I don't know if this favorite ng RQ at the Nasus support. First pick Nasus. Okay. Natutuwa sila sa ano sa Nasus ah. Magkapatid. Ah magkapatid Nasus Renekto na yun na. Lisi ni Chaz. Mas gusto ng ano no Echo ng Riven kasi sa Renekto. Feel ko Renekto over Riven eh. Renekton early to mid, Riven mid to late. Puro love like, ewan ko. Sample nga hugot, di ako mahugot eh. Binanay yung Ash! No Ash today boys! Hanap kayong ibang kaparis ang Nasus. Oh! Elis ka kagabi? Sakta lang. Basta sasaktan ka ba? Lahat naman ang tao na sasaktan eh. Hindi naman ako robot. Any tips? Wow, Soraka! Ayun na! Bagong new meta! Akala nyo ah. Akala nyo, ubos na yung kapares namin sa Nasus. May Soraka pa. Malaan na lang ah. Parang rogue lang ah. Stream B, is that you? Pero nasan mo ba magmahal? O naman, mahal ko yung pamilya ko. Ba, maganda yung comp ng Echo ngayon ah. May karma para may karma enchanter tapos tatalon yung Shivana sasabay yung Dalio. Himala di na Dalio si Exo. Pag dehado doon lang siya magagalio. Pero pag gumagana yung ano nila. Kung kita man naman yung game 1, lamang na lamang sila early game eh. Eh nagkakataon lang na medyo kampante 101 sila. Kasi yun. 
Gumana naman yung Nasus double relic shield nila ng game 1 eh. Lamang sila 500 gold yata. And what we're expecting to see here is to have either both the Corky as well as the Gallop over the bomb site and Karma to just... Pinipick na din sa Raka sa lol PC. Oo nga. Pero wala pa yung Moonstone Renewer eh no. Kung ilagay siguro yung Moonstone Renewer... Sobrang oh, sobrang sakit ng sobrang sakit ng Soraka. Ganda ko. Oh, mas gusto ko yung comp ng Echo. Yung comp ng Arkin mapang win lane win game sila. Win lane win game siya split push. Ganda pala ng splash art ng Soraka. Nagamit na ba Samira? Alam ko sayo nagamit na. Hindi pala pa lang sa Samira dito. Sa Brazil may nag-Samira na eh. Search ko. Wait lang. Brazil Wild Beef. Stream 6 hours ago. Tignan natin kung may mag-Samira. May nag-Samira dito eh. Yung mga Brazil nag-ADC pa sila eh. Tignan mo yung comp ng, tignan mo yung comp ng, ano, Brazil. May Vayne, ano, Vayne Raon. Tapos Sona, Sona Seraphine sila. Wala lol PC. Nanalo ba yung Sona Seraphine na to? Ay, wasak yung Sona Seraphine. Ha ha! Never mind. Itago na yan sa baul. Yung Vayne, ano, 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 Vayne Varo sa puro ADC. Eto, may sayan sila. Wala, ADC pa yung mga tao dito. Really, really curious to see how Soraka is gonna play out. Yeah, honestly, I feel like this is the most unfair. Ito, Oriana, may nag-APC bot. But when you do have a Soraka, who not only offers a lot of heal, when it comes down to team fights, sometimes you just ignore this whole zone where she just basically lay down in silence. Asan yung nag-ano? Sa means, nagsabi na may nag-Samira dito. Ito, back to AP. Asan yung nag-Samira? Fake news. It can basically lock them into this zone if they're not careful enough. And especially for a ribbon, like, she will basically dispel of her usual combination where she just wants to jump all the way to the back line. Ganda na manood dyan, babae, caster. Wow. Yan ba yung basehan para manood? And here we go. Into game two. You're currently watching. The Snapdragon Pro Series, League of Legends Wild Rift, Game 2 between RQ versus Echo Fortius. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, back into the Summer's Rift. And, of course, Echo starting on the blue side means that it's going to be, oh, apparently it's going to be Galio. Meteor Garden, oh, Meteor Garden and Matic. Wither Sabay Meteor. The bottom support the Corky, so a bit of a switch up here. Perhaps just maybe facing that threat. Lamang na lamang yung Argy sa lanes. Lamang sila sa top. Tapos nakashiba na jungle pa tong Echo. Nagana pa sila. Karma support pala. Kala ko Galio. Parang mas maganda yata pag Galio support eh. Kasi Lugi yung Galio sa Fiora. Interesting. Kala ko Karma. Maganda naman yung Karma mid eh. Kasi meron naman silang Corky Shivana sa late game. And tuloy, binubugbog tuloy ni Helios. Okay na, the double relic shield is up. Para sa RQ. Ito reps, naka timestamp na. Ah, meron ba? Mamaya tignan natin. Ah, o nga, meron nga. Sige, sige. Silipin natin kung nanalo yung Samira niya mamaya. Para sa Vi Camille. Oh, is Vi Camille. Ayan, Vi Camille Meteor. Pagka ulti, Meteors. Well, Ribbon has already gotten Renekton pushed up quite well. Uh, Lee Sin gonna go for the recall. The moment she's out very, very low though. So kind of like, kind of brave for her to still stick around here, but she doesn't have a backup of the Galio. Dinage bait, dinage bait. May barrier pa naman yung Ribbon, kaya di di mababurst ng Renekton niya. Stay quite a lot of damage there, taking out those jungle minions. So it looks like... Pero nandiyan niya na si Chaz. Pag nandiyan niya si Chaz, fa-flash niya yan. Who is extremely low, like one, 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 
Oop, oh, ayan na nga. May bone plating, di na burst. Bone plating plus barrier, pero Mr. Helios is here. Patay ata Riven. YOLO! Oh my god, di YOLO ng Riven yun ah. Boy na sila dun ah. Nakapu, damay damay na, damay damay na pamilya. Ba't niya inasim yun? Relic Shield ADC. Not sure. Test na na ba? For further testing pa kung gagana siya sa ADC first item. Pero sa mga ganito, sa mga low econ, sa mga low econ laners, katulad na nasa Soraka, naku po, di na pinaglaro yung ano, di na pinaglaro yung Riven. Naku, kain prutas, damay-damay na. Wala, walang bawas yung early game ng Echo, snowball malala. Oh my goodness! Apparently, even Azim, Azim. Azim ng Echo. Behave, dapat behave lang sila eh. Scaling sila eh. Tisi na lang hanggang First Dragon. Pag umabot sila ng First Dragon, papalaw na yung Corky Karma na yun eh. Package ni Corky, tapos yung Poke ni Karma. Bakit naka-relic shield sa Raka yung Vistas Wickel? HP Tapos Nakadobo lang na kasi sila yung shield eh Para pareha sila pwede mag CS Pag nag Sikel kasi yung, car yung Soraka Pag walang stacks yung Nasus Hindi rin makapag... Wala. Kailangan di, 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 di nila pwede kunin yung CS kasi mawawalan sila ng gold. Puro melee, oh. Kaya... Kaya ganda ng Shiva ng... Ang ganda ng kom lang, Echo. Kasi puro melee. Pagka ulti ng Karma, ulti, ulti Shiva na Galio. Boost lahat yan. Problema. Lamang na lamang yung Arcade. Tignan mo, 5 minutes pa lang ang 5k gold lead. Hindi pala ganun kalaki yung gold, no? Hindi. Lamang yung bot ng Arcade dahil... Tignan mo, nakadouble ano sila, relic sila. Lamang Nas 100, lamang Soraka 400. Bale, 500 gold lead Arcade sa bot lane kahit walang nangyayari. Kaya hindi sila nalugi sa gold kahit nakadouble support item sila. Oh, di nakuha. Naku po. Buti wala pa Riven dun. Kaso di nakuha yung dragon, sayang. Kailangan ng... Oh, palo-palo. Nice. Para saan yung Roa? HP. Para pwede siya mag-warmogs. HP tsaka mana. Pag nakaroa, war mag siyata third item yan kung hindi ang magkakamali. Ghost mo lahat, gang third game lang. Gang FNGX. Yung last game, dalawang Vietnam, di ka nakakos yun yun. Gusto ko yung mas, mas spicy na laban yun eh. Oh, si Helios, aray! Ah, si Chaz pala yun, muntik na. Ang quirky yun, no? Gagana, well, mamang gumana naman. Kasi di sila, lakalamang sila sa gold sa double relic eh. Okay na. May comet na. May comet na. Yung Soraka. Oh, may yung dalawang Vietnam na yun. Kakatapos na ng BO7 na nalo TF4-0. Nagla, ah, may tournament kaya po ng Vietnam? 
cool effect, pass each other gold, that's what they need to. So, I guess the rich can only get richer. And in fact, EXO, once again, just showing up in almost every battle that he is participated in. Alam, tsaka alam ko pag upgrade, fully upgraded the support item, wala nang minus gold eh. So, of course, that's something that we haven't seen all of the time. Tansyay 7 minutes. 7 minutes na tao nabuo na ng Nasus yung ano niya upgrade. Asa ROG meron ba? Sino naglaban? CF tsaka ano? CES? Helios still keeping an eye on that tier 1 which is still heavily defended by Riven at the moment. Riven or Trizel obviously. Exocent sustained a lot of damage there from Honey again to Lexi. They might be finding an opportunity here if we can just only catch him right around the corner as Trizel jumps in there. Is he going to get a stun? Yes, he does get a stun. Nasudam jumps in, pounces for the kill. Can't make him in lockdown though. The root does come true and that forces Trizel and Ramni a little bit behind. Oh, binugbog ng, binalagbag ng TF yung CES. Tordam now coming in position. Pwede mo nga alam na yung mangyayari mamaya. Chaz now jumps straight onto Tordam now trying to keep it away. Ang ganda ng tali ng Soraka. Ah, nang karma. Oo, higop lahat. Meteor right. Parang maganda meteor sa karma. Pagka SS mo meteor, sure hit. Pero nandito na yung buhaya. With a turn. Wala sila maburst eh. Wala silang pang habol. Tapos may Tore, di na rin nalang madive. Yung Shivana naging botiki eh. Best of 5 balaban Best of 3 lang Kapag full level wala na minus money So 7 minutes yata Anong ano no Ewan ko Di ka siya support pin Kaya di ka natatansya Anong oras yung ideal Na matapos yung quest Tsaka dalawang evolve yata yun eh Yung unang evolve may minus money Pero yata yung unang evolve So Ionian Meteor does a whole lot of damage. It can deal up to 25% of each enemy's maximum health as magic damage. So, no, meteor na naman Redekto, no? Exo, he's not gonna go in for that. Okay, Triple Meteor. He's basically for our RQ. Out of more heals, more damage. Oh, Ramley gonna get caught up here, but then Lohelio is gonna be in trouble now because of Reza and Fo was just literally in the jungle and it's a very, very dead Fiora. So, maybe a bit of a little 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 Apang TikTok na Proto Belt. Might be worth it in the end. I'm not too too sure. Like I see a bunch of ultimates being popped right here and. Ah, mandate o nga palang? May mandate. Gaga na sa first skill yung mandate, no? First skill, third skill. Kailangan to mama yung first skill. Medyo mahirap yung proc yung mandate sa Saraka, pero pwede pa rin. A game-changing fight for Echo Fortis if they can win it though. It's 10,000 deficit for them. Still pretty hard to come back from. Even with them finding a little bit of speed. Basta may slow. Oh, basta may slow. Kahit slow lang, gagana na siya. Yung third skill, di yung gagana agad eh. Kailangan kumagat yung snare para gumana. Yung first skill, gagana lagi yun. Uy, si Helios sinaway na naman sa taas, prod. 1v3 with the meteors. Ayun na, tatlong meteor bumagsak. Kaso hindi sapat. Napag-ulti rin yung Soraka, di pa sapat. Ano mas prefer mo, Gwen BR or Gwen Jungle? Di ko masabi. Ako jungle, siyempre, kasi jungle ako eh. Kaya biased ako. Nag-effect ba double relic? Kumagana. Ayun ko nga pala, haanapit ko nga pala yung bug. May nabasa akong bug eh. Slowing down a little bit of that sort of damage being dealt from that early game that they've suffered from. So, just going into the mid game though, just this whole idea of having that huge AOE of a team fight isn't going to be all too easy for nalagay. Echo Ford is to come by. Yeah, because you expect RQ to attack from all angles. Ba na ayos na. Yeah, Viper. NK Gold did oh, may parang 90%. 90% panala na RQ dito. Matatalo lang sila pag na-ease sila. 
Tapos yung shutdown na punta sa Shivana. O kaya sa Quirky. I don't think they are prepared for this fight. They're just giving away all this turret because they know they can't afford to commit a turret. Yeah, man, rin ito. Wala na mga kapigil dyan. Wala pa nang exhaust tong echo. Barrier, barrier, barrier by ADC ngayon. Ayun na, evolve na. Third evolve na yung karma. Ano ba yung tsura ng third evolution? And still, ng Relic Shield. Or dalawa lang yung evolution ng Relic Shield. Basahin ko nga yung patch. Lata man mag-aitala pag Ace. Hindi. I mean makakaka... Hindi ba naman talo pero makakakambak pa. Not able to follow up on that. Just really just trying to keep him intimidated. But unfortunately, the Rick Nixon uh, had his armor broken, so he wasn't able to keep that uh, aggression going. But nevertheless, we can see him regrouping with the rest of his team. We can see Viper and Exorcist now scanning the jungle yet again. They've been doing this. Uh, they did this previously. Pag... Uh, uh, see if uh, Echo was trying to set up an ambush, but so far Echo is just literally uh, too busy trying to stem the bleeding that's happening on their end to really try to set Rune up anything else. Like 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 so right now Echo is just desperately trying their very best here to just uh, stay fall. on the edge here very much. I mean, it just really huh. emphasizes how uh, precarious the position is when they can't really commit a uh, bulwark of the mountain may pangatlo pa so, so important at this stage but RQ is just literally rolling them over with it so there's only one more tier 2 left as that's going to be in the mid lane <laughs> so RQ already invading <laughs> the on this side here so it looks like they're trying to secure uh, this bottom Iced. lane to feel I that seal. Uh, I see you maybe uh, catch uh, echo a little bit off guard a, a bit that might be the uh, opening they need in order to snowball straight into the base. That's true, and Ramley has already utilized his hero's entrance, so they know at least one ultimate is down. And therefore, if they were to commit to uh, this... Yung karma support, top your AP, oh. Really Walang Ardent, Ardent. Ludens Rabal agad. Baliktad sila ng build ng Galio. Yung Galio yung nag-tank. Tapos yung karma yung nag-pure AP. Oh, Chaz with a TikTok. Kaso sakto yung ulti ng Shivana. Di na knockback. Di sila nila ma-burst. Kasi may Soraka. Sa sobrang laki ng gold gap. Uy, flash kill! Wow, triple kill Soraka! What the heck? Grabe naman yung Soraka nito. Easy. Sarap. Oops, so yan ah. Uy, mamamatay ka. Lalawa yan ka. Yun. Okay. Okay. It's it's a wrap. It's looking like a wrap. Too much damage overall. Like you saw what happened. Like Hunting gets the chance. Zell was fending off against two to three members in the middle of it all. That juncture. Pure AP pala tong ECH, no? Kaya nga lang hita kompte la. Positioning overall that didn't really favor. Semi AP ang Shivana Karma. Tatlo AP. Three and a half. Kaya bayad na bayad bag MR dito. Sarap ng ano? Sarap ng bisaj ng Nasus. Yaman ng Soraka tsaka Nasus o 11k. Ba't di na nag-evolve ulit? Or walang iba yung sa icon? Latest batch pa ito. Kaya nga puro meteor na kita mo eh. Nice flank by Echo. Ganda ng taunt. Huling huli. Kaso nga lang. Buhay pa din yung Soraka. Buhay pa din yung Soraka. Buhay pa din HP. Ang gunat. Amang healing galing lang. Oh, yun heal lang ng war mug si. Ayun lang na Ludens. Puno na naman buhay ng RQ. Nice damage, bro. 
Walking Fountain. May Walking Fountain kasi itong RQ eh. Ayun na, nag-proc na war moves ni Exo. Walking Fountain. Very nice, very nice. Walang namatay. In FF nila yung Soraka, tapos nakatakas pa Soraka, 1 HP eh. Disaster na yun. Kung napatay na yung Soraka doon, Siguro, siguro tatagal pa yung laro. Pero kayo na rin matapos yung laro para next day agad. Yung madaya, yung madaya sana yung Soraka eh. Yung tipong kailangan mo siya yung FF, pero ang kunat din niya. One side. Dey, ano talaga favorite talaga RG dito? Worth it. Ni Meteor, ni Meteor ang ego. So makita damage dealt lang ano ang Soraka. Ang daming meter na nangyayari sa gilid-gilid eh. R.I.P. FPS. Dawal snow. Oh, nagkumpisa yan sa taas eh. That's the thing because like RQ definitely had a much stronger like uh, early game phase here, uh, not least thanks to uh, Echo's kind of like risky play at the initial part there that kind of like gave practically handed them the lead, you know, from the. Oh, my ending so moment na pala tong ano? Yung may ending really moment na pala yung ESL. I felt it was it was way harder for them to try to fight back uh, in this game compared to the last one, even though they don't have the threat of the Cassidy necessarily. Naka frozen heart yun siya ano? Interesting. Bakit? The threat of Viora was just too much for them to bear. Yeah, and overall, like with the Equinox, the spell that I was trying to bring up where you just basically... Double frozen heart sila oh. Sayang. Itemization diff. Either a Shyvana or a Trizel on that ribbon. They're, they're just gonna be backing away where you just can't stand in the zone. So far, RQ just had this game plan with you for Helios. Helios. Sure, he's gonna have Same sila ng damage na Riven. In between, but against Kama, honestly, buffed yan. Alam ko, buffed yung Frozen Heart. Kaso nga lang, pangit is, pangit, uh, di naman nang sa-stack yung Frozen Heart. Tsaka di magagamit ni Shyvana yung mana. Ano magandang armor? It just deemed didn't seem feasible at all as we look at the charts majority of these objectives have definitely went on trades from thorn mail early to mid game kasi may saraka it was just rq decaying the tempo from start all the way to finish yeah that's certainly a dominant display here that rq has pulled off ano ba next game buri ram well deserved win here in our first match buri ram tsaka persis sata tama ba Enjoying the show so far. I'd like to give a shout out to some of our sponsors here because this Snapdragon Pro series brought to you by ESL wouldn't have been possible without the support game? of our sponsors in this event. So, oh, BRU PSO. Uh, let's go ahead and give a thanks to yeah, BRU. Bigat ang schedule ng BRU. Medyo malawag na yung schedule. Hindi, di pa pala. Ang hirap para schedule ng BRU. Flash tsaka di pala, nakaka di pala na nakakalaban yung Evos tsaka yung Flash. Spicy, spicy. One four. Lag. Di na magahabul to. Di naren magahabul to. Yung RQ may chance pa yata sila magfif, kahit four three sila. Depende pala. Oh, interview. Sinaging Hello. saging lang. Hi. Hey, we see a cutie at the back as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> can, can we have the name of the pupper? Interview. Oh, may natulog ako. Uh, tulog his agad. His Milo. 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 Oh, that's All cute. All right. Yeah, that's like the sixth member, seventh member of the team, I, I, I assume. But of course, we got a lot of questions for you, Exo. So in game one, you were playing Ash, and you had like 100% of participation in all those kills. And on game two, you came up with Sorata, which we don't always see. Uh, heading into 
uh, this whole leak itself. So I want to ask, like, was it your decision overall, or was it like Kaigu that has planned this all out? <laughs> uh, I think for me, it's because of the patch. Mm -hmm. uh, they bring out the new items for the support, and I think it's a big help for the, I mean, for the support players out there. And about uh, the Ash pick and uh, Soraka pick, I think it's not new for us because we've been all practicing Soraka and Ash. All right. Ever since. Marky, oh, time Ever screen since. time lang, ah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, so that definitely was a splendid display overall. And uh, speaking of the new patch, right? Like, we've already oh. seen so many Netflix changes. Uh, the si Idol. And literally a new patch dropped, like, basically two days ago. W was it a lot of prep that you guys have to go through or you guys already feel, hey, this is kind of comfortable because you might have actually seen ways to work around it? Uh, we tried the new items and I think uh, right now it's really broken, the Broke? relic. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, gives a, it gives a lot of gold for the bot lane. I see, I see. I, and I also do notice that you also purchased that uh, new enchantment as well, that meteor, and that you equipped it on a Soraka. Uh, do you think Marge, that is dancer, eh? as well? Uh, I think it's fun. That's why we're using it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was. You, you see some meteor falling out of this, the game. I mean, of the sky. <laughs> right, right. And I, I think that was a great look. Like, you basically abused the brand new patch and a clean 2-0 win. Any questions from you, Victor? Uh, not really much. I mean, you've pretty much covered most of the bases, really, <laughs> that I really wanted to ask on the Exorcist side. So I guess, like, uh, my question really for you guys is, uh, what, what's going to be expectations uh, going the dog here? Show. I mean, now that you guys... Uh, uh, so, uh, it, looks, it looks like you guys have this patch green uh, mech down. So do you think the chances you guys get into uh, to the playoffs is going to be way higher now? Uh, I think for us, uh, it's still... 50-50 because many teams are still strong mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And of course, yeah. there's still many battles up ahead, but we, we know that you guys are in at least a, a good spot heading into the playoffs. But of course, I want to ask you this. Who do you think is the MVP for the entirety of the series? Yourself? Or could it be somebody else? I think it's support meta right now. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, support yeah. meta. <laughs> I, I love what you just mentioned. And first, let's see if that is true. So, Animal cruelty. here we pare, go. Pare right. The man himself, Exo. <laughs> uh, Two see. games in a row. Man, you've been offering a whole lot on both uh, the picks overall. But I definitely would love to see what else would be brought to the table. Now, I do want to ask you this as well like pag, pag sure, we viable support as parang that pwede siya triple flex no pwede siya uh, mid pwede siya adc pwede sure, siya support see below it broken what about tank supports do you think that they're still in trend is it something that you guys want to try and test uh coming into future games i think uh tank support is still there mm -hmm. and i think many tank support can punish some utility champs all right. So, of course, we do look forward to other surprises from you in those upcoming games. So, any words that you basically want to share to, you know, fans back at home that's tuning in from the early morning, just cheering you guys on? Uh, thank you so much for your supporters. support. Feel ko and also trash, eh. to my family. Kaya lang and naman di walang gumagamit sa trash kayo dahil puro tank yung support. Eh. Uh, and also to... RRQ organization to our boss AP, boss Ricky, and boss Nano. Yep, shout out to them. And of course, thank you so much, uh, EXO. You've definitely been a pleasure uh, uh, to be on this interview. And Victor I just love spending Cox. time with you here. Hope to visit you guys someday in the yeah. Philippines, though. So, first, till then, uh, let's hope for the best. And the interviews are there. I don't know you for too long. So, have a good Kita break. Naman, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Easy farm. Always oh, welcome. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it was so fun looking at how like uh, how enthusiastic the team was in the background, just constantly poking <laughs> around there, and of course the cute little uh, mud yeah. there. And uh, I'm trying below. not to be distracted by all, all the cute <laughs> pets that they do have. Like, yeah, I I, I wish like I, I could just have one to cuddle with here, Aww. and possibly we won't end up casting anyway. So yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll keep it this way.
<laughs> yeah. So, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that was our first matchup of the day done and dusted. We're going to have another matchup coming. But before that, we're going to be taking a break here at the SBS. So, my name is Victor Catch. Joining me here is Contra. Bye. We'll be right back after these messages. Laro, laro. Rank or... Rank or duel. This is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming and Monster Energy. Check my demo. Yet again, versus esports. I think I bring they're the definitely dog. feeling the heat. They have not won. Listen, guys, listen. Listen. This new patch, hopefully, they've been able to talk something that we have not seen before. Tapos. Yeah, this is really exciting. Brutal. This new patch kind of changing up the meta now. Brutal. Bone plating. Demolish. Yeah, game from two one. Malas pag dasabayan ka sa duel. Ano ba rank ng katapat ko? Diamond 1 oh! Palag palag naman siya yung Zed main. Marunong siya, marunong din siya. 300 games siya sa Zed. Oh, Renek 2 na yan ah! Oh. oh, marunong eh! Pag nakita mong Exosignite, alam mo na try hard eh! <laughs> try hard malala! Oh, nga na to ah! Lugi ba dito? Depende siguro. Squatter on na! Third skill yata ako dito ng level 1. Unless matama, mapatamaan ko yung Q. Ano ba difference ng third skill tsaka first skill? Mas mataas yung bawas ng third skill. Third skill na ako level 1. What the Jess? What he offers? Usually... Yeah, he's known for his Galio, for his Rakan, and all the flashy sort of plays. And with this sort of patch being so interesting, possibly this matchup is about what, what the chance can possibly offer on the table. First, he's still have trade. the old reliable, the well-coded feature that will be always kicking things up to start off with. Nice talks at the Lacia. With Bank being added into the team, uh, this team has been looking to Aray! Sakit, man. Kataya to level to eh. Hindi kasi ginawa ko level 1. Max W kaya para malas life streak ko. Tutip, ginamitan ako ng Forbidden Jutsu, Exosignite ah. Di naman niya ako, di naman ako madadive sa tower. Kung mamatay man lang ako, 1 for 1 may mga yari. Uy, Asim! Outplayed! Asim mo idol ah! Maasim ka ah! Kala mo ikaw lang may dash, may dash din ako. At doon siya nakakamali. At doon siya nakakamali ng desisyon sa buhay. Bawal mag-badge dito. Nagtanggal ng emote, iwas BM. Oops, kanon lang men. Log, gigil na gigil sa akin ah. Chill, son. Sige na nga, sa'yo na yung kanon. Dito lang abot yung ano ko. Dito lang abot yung cleaver ko. Kaso kailangan ko na muwi. Finrease niya yung wave. Seryoso. Okay. Sige, freezean mo yung wave. Para di siya mga plating. First build, Hullbreaker. Ako nga ano, Hullbreaker. Ba't nakalimunan ko yung item na yun? Full stocks show. Oops. Easy Tiger. Abawi siya sa gold. Walang, malaka naman wave ko eh. Abawi ko yung mamaya. 
Uy, okay. Mabawasan. Ayun, wala na siyang stocks. Ayun yung mawi Pag may cleaver, tabi mga ako. Pwede na ako mawi. After na ito yata, bibili ko na. Kaya ko si Pahin ito eh. Wala nang third skill. Yoke lang, Lugia ako. Aray. Kinulang samat. Kinulang samat yung sipa ako. Eh, kaya ko yata patayin ito eh. Pag umasin pa siya. Umuhin na ba siya? Umuhin siya. May putas eh. Hindi ko ma-proc yung demolish ko. Anong item niya? Fever. Oh, stone plate. Ano yan? Ganamitin ako ng ano, kadayaan. Bork kaya. Ay, Hullbreaker. Hullbreaker. Gagamit din ako ng kadayaan. Kala mo ikaw lang ah. This is definitely a tough enough crack. I still believe that Rub United will still have a little bit more of an end against Versus. Si Sila ba yung top laner ng Echo? I think like overall, I still feel that Burium is a stronger team. Versus still hasn't really found... Nakaplating siya, shit. Nabasag yung kanon. So you can see, even across the board here from the rest of the other casters, they're also... Okay. Stun ako. Yeah, and... Kailangan ko mabait yung ulti niya. Hindi ko mabait yung SS niya. Hindi kasi manatalo, hindi ko kasi mananalo sa all-in ito. Joke lang, talo pala siya. Wala siyang empowered eh. Sinayawan ng Lisin. Ang ah, stang post ko doon ah. Duel uh, main. Meron bang win rate sa duel? Ano ba rank 1? Marunong yun kahit pa paano eh. Diamond 1. Puro Diamond 1 yung kalaban ko ah. Duel main siya oh. Hmm. Oh, si do it with invite oh, Aram. Mag-start na kami. Mamaya, mamaya. After ng next, after ng game na to. Start na sila. Ano nangyari sa guild natin? Paano magkaano dito? Alam, mag-reset na yung ano natin, yung rewards. Ano itong guild perks? Personal guild rewards. Ah, bago na pala to. Hindi ko alam bago sa guild eh. Paano pataasin to? Ano mangyayari pag nakukuha to? You get bonus blue modes, XP, tsaka trophy points. Para saan yung trophy? Ah, nasa ano? Para dito sa ano? Sa top guild. Ah, ito pala yun. Ba't ang taas ng points sila? Ah, yan mga tryhard. Ah, yung hirap na pala magpataas ng points ngayon. Kailangan may ipaglaro. Hindi na armas-armas. Baduy. Lugi tayo dito. Tayo, 960 pa lang tayo. Pinakatawa, tas 20k na. Okay, game na pala. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Wala pa si Coach Mel. Hindi ko lang sure pero nakita ko walang icon. Binenta ko na agad. Anong walang icon? Ah, yung passive ng Hullbreaker. Hindi, yung Hullbreaker naman yung habol ko dun is yung bonus armor na binibigay. Okay lang kahit walang buff yung sa minion. Yung free 50 armor yung gusto ko eh. 50 armor tapos 50 AD. Oh, bala rips. Minamalit na na ipaglaro sila. Oh. Oh, mamimilit. Grabe ka naman. Grabe ka naman, GL. Lakas mo naman. Wow, Tristana! What is this? New pick. 
having just Tristana over on the bottom lane. Bob, BRU. Gusto ko talaga yung favorite ko talaga, BRU. Laging kakaiba yung mga pinipili nila eh. They took all my hopes aside and they say, you know what? Oh, jebated. Bayan, kala ko Tristana na eh. Di pa pala nakalock yun. Morgana can be very very difficult to deal with but then uh then again uh, going for the carry Yung Leandri sa bagong brand magand parang maganda nga yung bagong Leandri sa brand Tank Shredder malala yung bagong Leandri ngayon eh Tay and Tristana nang ingarin pa Umasa umasa o malala Tristana na nang ingarin lang Ayun kasa din sa mukha Balit na ang PSO. Ba't naka-invite tong ano? Hindi, alien lang pala yung ano siya. Kala ko naka-invite yung jersey na yan. Hindi na ba gumagana ang Hullbreaker? Hindi ko alam eh. Bubuhin ko pa lang eh. Bubuhin ko para sana yung Hullbreaker kasi natapos na yung laro eh. Ang bansara ka. Yung mi oh, walang nag yung mi. Open yung mi guys. Nag safety ban lang yung argue oh. Open yung mi, open yung mi. Yung mi Lucian. Yung mi Garen. Gagana pa naman yung mi sa comp ng BR yun. Maybe a ribbon over in mid lane. We don't really see that too much out of Arshani, but PSO. Lock mo, lock mo. BRU. Hmm, mga nababad tipo dito sa mga tay. Having a little bit safe space to they say safe space. Nagimbaros. Yeah. Baya, baya. Pero understandable. Kasi din baros talaga madalas yung tandem. Either kasi din baros or kasi din Jin. Kaya kasi din saya. Ay na, Ash! Is the Ash support? Maybe? Maybe, question mark? Ash, Lucian, bot, Garen, mid. Tapos, top is... Jax. Jax, top. Ayun! Ayun na nga! Ash, Nasus! Mala, RRQ lang! It's the RRQ, ano? It's the RRQ duo bot, ah. Ash, doge, doge. Garen, top. Mas gusto ko yung comp ng PSO. Okay, that's a different one. Mas gusto ka draft pa rin ng PSO kahit Rengar. Buti pa si Chaz tulog na ulit lang yung after nang i-recta sleep. Aga kasi ng game nila eh. Laging first game. Lahat ng game sila first game. Ay, Sena. The heck? Kala ko Ash na eh. Ano yan? Prod. Wala, in-scaman tayo ni Prod ah. Nalock na yung Ash eh. Naging Sena. Oh! Ano na? Make up your mind. Prod, make up your mind. Dinadog show tayo na ito ah. Oh! Morgana support. Kaya lang ulit ako nakita Morgana support. Interesting. Baka kasi sabi lang, Uy, may Ash. Kaya Morgana support tayo. Pag contra sa Ash Arrow. If you pair this mid lane matchup, Bansena. Ay, ban Bansena. Hindi ko napansin. Yumi. Yung ganda na, may, may mic. Ngayon ka lang nakita may mic pala sila sa gitna. Angas ah. Tapos ito na naman, may daming ano, daming electric pan. Tapos di, di nakabukas. Ay, di nakabukas yata. Or yung isa lang. Walang nag Yumi sa game na to ah. Yumi check tayo, Yumi check. Kung may mag Yumi na. Yung mga, yung mga tier list, tsaka ano, iayusin ko yung mamaya. 
Ayusin ko pala sa next week. Next week ka na pala ayusin. No Oras Laro NGX. Pagkatapos ito, pagkatapos ito. Last series. NGX versus EVOS. This is gonna be something rare. <laughs> yeah, very, very rare. I've, this is gonna be literally the first time I'm gonna be casting with a Rengar in a game, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Ayun, mas gusto ko Airy kasi sa double phone. Hindi kasi nagpo-proc yung double phone eh. Thailand versus, versus eSports from Indonesia. Let's go! And of course, with the focal point for both sides, uh, basically being the jungers on who makes the first move. Oh, grabe naman yung dodge na yun. Dulong-dulo ah. Oops. So Tanggal stone plate ng Morgana. So far, I'm hoping to see PSO come up uh, with some uh, early ganks overall because bottom side has so much kill pressure. And now with the Ash accompanying a Nasus, sure, you have a lot of poke damage, a lot of from the slows, but there's not too much sustain as compared to when you pair the Nasus along with a Senna. So you already see a little bit of damage being done towards what he does. Double, ano na oh, look at the bot lane. The relic shield meta is here. <laughs> Apat na relic shield sa baba. Let's go. Makakapag-farm na, na yung support eh. Kaya kahit Morgana support, papalag-palag na eh. Mabubuo rin yung item niya. It's just gonna be shelving waves after waves against Tech Maturge, but what's happening over top? Ooh, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Tim Boya? Low here, it looks like uh, both of them are still on level three. Butin lang naka barrier. Balik tan yung spell nila, yung Renekton yung naka defensive. Oh. That's why they're using mm. a very, very good uh, awesome. matchup against the Renekton. Nagigil, nagigil si Nawil. Uh, finding, uh, finding out the hard way here. Fortunately, no flash garin. Help to get a recall, but that's certainly gonna be setting him back a little bit. These turn two rivals. Wala pa. Hindi ko alam kung na-disable yung... Hindi ko lang na alam kung na-disable na yung ano, yung Nemesis Duel sa Torna Draft. Feel ko na-disable siya eh. Yun lang. Butik yan. Ningat-ngat. In inikutan. Inikutan ang Garen. Hit that sa Pryo Diff. Ooh, interesting. Kraken. Kraken Rengar. So far, I think like... It was a decent read coming from Tina try ko ngayon kung Kraken jungle versus Kong. Yung mga conquer jungler, ginagawa ko na siyang Kraken ngayon eh. Tina try ko kung ano mas maganda. Ang napansin ko, early early to mid game mas maganda Kraken. Mas lalamang lang yung conquer pagdating sa 3 items onwards. Mas lamang yung damage ng conquer. Pero 1 to 2 items, laki ng lamang ng Kraken, mga 100 to 200 damage. Kaya pwede rin ang Kraken ngayon sa jungle eh. Mga Fiora, Rengar, Irelia, Shivana. Diba pag BR lane, usually undying grasp. Pero pag jungle, pwede sila mag-Kraken kasi di naman nila masistakan yung grasp eh. Makakasabay na kaya RG sa Chinese team. Sana, di natin masasabi hanggat nagtapat sila. Nalabar, yung kanina, nanalo sila first game. Looks like they're bringing the Morgana and the Rengar down the river. Rengar now going to the mid, going to kicking the skull of crap. Ganda ng second skill nun, kaso. Hala ka! Hala ka! Anyari! Disaster. Report jungle, man! Yung Rengar, ang asim! Damay na damay tuloy yung kakampi niya. Takaso na yun eh. May flash pa siya oh. Ganda na ng taunt niya sa arrow. Perfect na sana. Kung nabuhay Rengar dun oh. Two plates sa Renekton. Bawing bawi Renekton. Parang, parang ako lang mag-throw sa Scuttler ah. All in, all in Scuttler. Sa top scat, nahuli siya. Pagdating sa bot scat, nahuli din, nahuli ulit. Yuck. Yeah, man, in Ash first item mandate. Tiyan na, paldo na yung Ash, masakit na yan. Bilis niya babu, bilis talaga mabuo item for minutes. No items available before Rob Ages or even other secondary items to come about. You will expect Pasadena to even have that sort of burst damage. So PSO 
Uy, Arrow. Ayun, huli na naman yung Rengar. Napana. Naku po. Wala. Report. Report. Report, Rengar. Hindi na pag-scale yung ano, PSO. Ganda pa naman ang comp nila. May Rengar. Ah, may ano sila. Lost ang early game nila eh. Kahit may kasa din. Connecto ng Rengar Varus. Sobrang sakit yan early game. Tapos free, mga pag-free scale dapat yung kasa din. Ayun na nga. Mm. Uy, batuks yan. Pero nandito na yung EPs. Focus a goal. Ayun nalang mag-dragon. Wala ka six ah. Baka naman PSO. No, no, it's too late. Hindi nyo na matatapos yan. Kala ko. Kala ko. Wala silang ginawa doon. Nasa taas yung jungle. Free objective na sana yun. PSO is going to be lurking around and speaking of PSO, they're going to be eyeing on their first strike Meanwhile, Burem United secures Rift Herald for their own yeah. Now they are still contesting though Yeah, they're still just in time for that Oh, that, that arrow just nails Aray. down Tobu So save mm. lots of damage but Najutsu, nagaran Jutsu Uy, Marga, Mar Ay, Bar Barus pala yun Focus sa goal yung Barus, ha, flash Q Da, namong ano na to It's looking like a clean 1-0 for my Brewery Ram Brothers. Look lang, Renekton is trying to carry the game. Basag niya yung top tower. Trabaho lang, trabaho lang. Ganda kasi ng arrow ng Ash. Pag tumama arrow ng Ash, may iri na darating. Tapos may stack pa na mandate. Tapos may commit pa mahuhulog. Sabog. Pag tinamaan ng arrow ng Ash sa long range. Sino na nalo kanina sa laro ng RQ? RQ. 2-0. Ito rin sa PSO, pwede rin sila mag-Meteor eh. Pag nabind ng Varus o kaya Morgana, Meteor sa mukha. Uy! Grabe nung arrow nito. Patay na naman yung Rengar natin. Yuck! Hindi na naman siya nakapag-lol. Sino nanalo ka? Ay, nasagot ka na pala yun. Wasn't going to be able to deal in a 1v3 even though uh, we're at the 8 minute mark and he's already on level 9. Uh, Tops is still sticking around though so Noel might have an opportunity Nga to just... Uh, speed pusher ha, basag na rin yung Lebo to. Gets a slam, a silence, uh, not much to kind of keep him under control but then wait for it. Ooh, stone plate. Ash and Masses are coming in here so Tops might be in a lot more trouble than he expected though. Damay na rin Ekton, sinaksak. Bawal maglol. Ay, Morgana nag-zone niya. Mabait, mabait. Maganda rin kasi zone niya eh. Flash in zone niya. Ulti zone niya. Hindi nakakalaro yung Regaro nga eh. Buti nga may assist pa siya eh. Ano mangyayari pag support double support item sa duo lane? Sa din sa relic shield lang siya effective. Pag nag-seekle relic shield ka, di siya masyadong effective as compared to double relic. Para may mga pag-CS sa lane. Kada may araw yung Ash May mamamatay eh Araw Ash third skill Nasus Tapos burst ng Kha'Zix Ayun 
Yeah, they're going to be taking the entirety of this jungle right now with none of PSO's uh, tier 1 towers, uh, tur tier 1 turrets up and alive. Uh, they have pretty much a true impunity. Just Girl. wander around, but Jiro now tries to get a catch on the Colon Feet. Didn't quite land a net, though. So Colon Feet is still able to slip away as Lucian now uh, recalls back to base. Kha'Zix still sticks around. Badal dito. Day Meteor, parang... This... Yung Relic Shield for sure mana nerf yan. Di kasi yan ang... Di kasi yan ang intended defect ng Riot, eh. Yung double Relic Shield. Yung Meteor may chance pa hindi mana nerf or baka mana nerf. Gawin 20% na lang ganun. It's good necessary to be able to... Counteract uh, any attempt to try to take the Rift Herald at this point. Yeah, and just look at how huge this Kha'Zix is. So over three kills in, clap assist. He's just swimming in money. And of course, we can make comparisons against Rengar that has been absolutely blew off the map. Now, what's interesting to me is that there's two Meteor in Chan on uh, the game itself, and so we're Nekton that's actually building the Meteor instead. Yeah. Here comes oh. Yeah, oh, gundo. damage done the purses. Uh, Sarap. You attempt to try to target Di them. Not enough damage done here in order to try to take down that Nasus. So it's or pwede rin reduce damage. Or pwede rin yung ganun. Reduce damage. Para isang isang tao lang mag-meteor. Parang na redemption. Pag nagsa-stack ng skill. Yan siguro pinakamaganda. Isang meet. Reduce damage. Tapos yung Redic Shield. So... Right now, ano pwede lang gawin uh, sa Relic Shield? As well as Burium being this strong and just constantly taking objectives, the amount of pressure on Persis' side must be immense. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko pa may isip ang pwede lang gawin sa Relic Shield. But it's gonna be PRU just once again hopping on top of them. Yeah, right on top of them. And we're already taken down. The Tier 2, her job is already done. She's gonna retire for the next few moments now. Dragon's but up. uh yep dragon's gonna be coming up in just a moment and already burium united the top of objectives ringer well, sobrang behind na kasi sila eh hindi uh, sila makahinga eh I mean, really yung comp kasi nila kailangan mauna kasi pag pag nalugi sila early game wala sila walang pwede mag pace check kahit hindi na mag pace check patay agad you're limited to one support item per team Pwede rin. Huwag lang agawan, maagawan ng support ng item niya. True. Para din, oh tama. Kasi may nakalaro ang Morgana nag, nag ano kasi kahapon. <laughs> Naalala ka tuloy yung stream ko kahapon. Nakasikil yung Morgana mid namin. Wala tuloy pera. Hindi siya makafarm eh. Nangalahati lahat ng CS niya eh. Hindi rin niya. Mas tak na maayos. Parang hindi rin bilhin ng mga ibang laner, no? Kasi medyo mas hassle kasi i-code yung ganun, eh. Ewan ko lang kung kaya nila i-code yung ganun. Pag may bumili na, madi-disable na yung item. Free kanina yung Dira sa first objective. Wala pangat kasi ng early yung Rengar, eh. Nawala yung ano, eh. Imbis siya yung nangangal mo. Lamang Rengar, 1 to 4, eh. Level 5 pa lamang yung Kha'Zix. Kaso nga lang, kaso nga lang, nalugi siya sa respo. Nakapry yung Garen, pinalagan niya yung Scuttler. Tapos sa baba naman, nakalpry yung Lucian, pinalagan din niya yung Scuttler. Mukhang looking clean ah. Itong Beerbury na mga malinis paglaro. Wala ang throw-throw. Wala kang nakikita may napipitas. Ito ang ano, ito yung mabait na team. Yung Argy pa medyo, hindi siya perfect, hindi siya sobrang, di, clean siya pero di, I mean, di sobrang clean yung la, na panalo ng Argy kahit lamang na lamang sila. May mga small misplay lang sila pero ito, kitang kita mo. Parang hindi, pa, hindi nakakahinga yung kalaban. Pwede rin disable yung charge, oh. may mga ganun, pwede. Pwede i-code yun. Oh, alam man. Alam man. Uh, Siyempre pwede naman i-code pero... Hazel lang, Hazel. Pinakamaganda talaga one support item only. Ang ano lang doon, drawback loan is kapag tatrollin ka ng kakampi mo, unahin ka niya, unahin ka niya bumuli ng support item. Pero mga ganun, report. Dapat pwede na i-report yun eh. Thanks to the support of the Baron buff, he has O trying to hold their own here on the high ground. 
But Emporium is now knocking on their doors. Minions now rolling in here. It's going to be Q for them to start taking damage oh, to the turret. But uh, not quite fighting. Oh, sakit. They do manage to put a bit of damage on the turret. Tinamaan ng Meteor yung Morgana na nahimatay eh. Aray, pati Rengar. Pinagpapoke lang sila ng Rengar Ash. Wala nang buhay. Di pa nga nag-i-SS yung... Parang sakit na no. Kha'Zix... Kha'Zix is evolved second. Tapos Ash W. Ang hirap makalapit. Daming slow. Tapos pag nakapasok ka, mawi-wither ka ng Nasus. Napakadaming slow. Poke malala. Very clean game, very clean game by Bori Ram. Galit na Bori Ram ha. Kung ikaw rin gara na winning condition mo, wala na, tapos na. Tumaba yung ano, tumaba yung kasa din. Only support players can buy support item. Pwede rin. Kapag roll mo support. Kaso... Paano yun kapag nagbablind pick ka? Normal game. Walang roll lang normal game eh. Or pag nag... Or pag nag-swap roll kayo. Di, di rin pwede. Di rin pwede pala ganun. Uh, Tamang load muna sa iPad. Masaya na ulit sila. Masaya na ulit ang BRU. Nung naraan, malut na lulungkot yung mga BRU eh. Nung natalo sila, two game lose streak. Support Ash is doing it dahil sa mandate, oh. Pero siguro counter ng support Ash yung mga trash ganun. Feel ko bugbug yun. Feel ko bugbug yung Ash sa mga ganun eh. Pero ang nangyayari kasi na pumipi... Oo nga, dapat ginawa na lang nila ano, no, naka, nakabarus na sila eh. Nag-last pick Rengar nung nakita yung Ash Nasus. Hindi ko kaya ng mga trash eh. Tapos pag na-arrow, ilalantern lang niya. Pero syempre dapat magaling din yung mag-trash. Dapat tinuloy na lang na yata nila yung Morgana Jungle eh. Being targeted, and there was no time for Cassidy to even find that sort of opening. Nor, of course, Gerald was so far behind. Pag natalo NJX mama ya, ilang percent chance na malalaglag, de ba sa magkadikit sila ng standings? Ano pa malabu pa yung ano? Four wins kasi yung ano feel ko four wins yung safe. Four wins yung safety dito eh top five. Hmm, kung nana aku matalo NJX mama ya, tidak naman sila delikado. Pero, I mean, oh, mejo deh ada sila, pero tidak naman sila laglag kumbaga. Ang problema, kasi tidak pernah gelaban argu NJX eh, unless, unless, alam na. Ada apa sih, apa gelaban ng ng NJX? Evos. Ito, Echo, kaya nila Echo. Hmm. Pinakamanganda manalo sila. Pag nanalo sila di sa weekend na to, most likely secured na rin sila dito. Pag nanalo sila sa Evos, pag nanalo sila sa Evos tsaka Echo, most likely secured na sila. Kasi for sure mataas na ang chance na malalaglag itong dalawa eh. Kung baga isa na lang yung, isa na lang yung kailangan maging alay. Snapdragon has certainly provided the best platform here for our Wild Rift. 
group, uh, challenge group uh, stage players here to show their ta talents. So, Last nga pala sila nag- sabi ni Coach Steve, Monster alam na. Energy, <laughs> Truth. Their website, www.monsterenergy.com slash gaming. Matasa ang chance makapasok yung ano? Matasa ang chance makapasok yung NGX pag danalo sila mamaya. GG slash Snapdragon Pro Series. So, with game one already done and dusted, you know what that means, game two is gonna be coming up, but before we can do that, Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take a little bit of a break. So, my name is Vita Cax. Joining me here is Contra. We'll see you guys after the break. So, don't go away. The Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming and Monster Energy. Top five dating apps in the Philippines. Love trip of the Pop side dating apps, Bumble, Tinder, Discord, Valorant, Call of Duty. Dati lol, dati lol eh. Wala na, di natitig. Dati lol yung Valorant eh. Nung lumabas yung Valorant, bye bye lol. Dead's the lol PC sa PH. So sad. True. Well. Ayaw ko sa bagay. TFT na lang lalaro sa lol PC. Ito nakalagin nga yung account ko ngayon eh. Wait lang guys ah. Yun no. Nakalagin yung lol ko. TFT lang. TFT only. Tignan mo yung friends list ko. Offline, 298. Buti nga, may mga online pa sa FL ko dito eh. TFT man. Kailang huling laro ko sa LOL PC. Aram lahat at huling laro ko eh. Nasaan yung match history? Ah, dito. Custom game, normal pick. Tinaray ko lang mag-Renata eh. Gwen. Ayan. Velvet. Kung ano-ano ginagamit ko. Yung mga bagong champion lang. Aram Q na 10 minutes. Talaga, 10 minutes Q sa Aram. Oo, oh, nag-Aram ako eh. Hindi naman ganun katagal. Ito, nag-Aram ako. Affiliates ako. Plus 1216. Hindi na ako marunong gumamit ng mouse tsaka keyboard. 15 to 20 minutes Q. Disaster. Sa TFT, tagal nga ako eh. Pag rank. 5-10 minutes nga yung rank, rank Q sa TFT eh. Kaya puro normal game lang ako, tapos hyper roll, kahit pa paano, mas mabilis yung queue. Pero mababa yung ping. 8 ping na lang yata lol PC eh. Check ko nga yung ping. Mababa na yung ping sa lol PC eh. Dati, dati 30 eh. 20, 30. Ngayon, 8 na lang yata eh. Tignan nga natin. Tagal na rin hindi nakalaro sa LOL PC. Puro na ako mobile. Alay. Talaga. Tapos mag-RM pa. Kung hindi talaga separate PC server din na... Oo oh, nga. Well, pag, una pagkalabas ng LOL, ng LOL PC, nung nakita ko, localized siya. Yung agad yung re reklamo ko eh. Ilan yung ping ko? Mayan na pala. Title na rin pala dito, no? Uy! May ganito pala. Showmaster info. Gameplay. Player info. Log me in. Tapos yung loading na ito. Puro TFT lang sa mga lalaro. Yung iba kasi TFT. Wala kasi TFT mobile sa Garena. Ang badoy. Kailangan na ibang server pa. O yan, lagay na lang lang sa wild trip yung DFT. Hindi, malabo eh. Ooh. 
Angas naman. Zo sponsored pala sila ng Zoe. Angas ah. Ah, uh, prefer lang Zoe. Di ba ano lang? More on mouse sila. You know, tino mo MS ko, 2 MS. Jesus, sarap ng ping ko. 1 MS. Or dahil naka ano ako, custom game. You know, ba't nang wawala? 2 MS. Wala nang delay. Wala na kasi, wala na rin kasi player. <laughs> TFT lang talaga bubuhat. True. Ibang installer, yung Terra lang. Gusto ko rin sana lore. Kaso nakakatamad kasi farman yung mga cards. Kung unlock lahat ng cards, mag siguro nag-LOR na ako. Dapat pagsama nila si Sir Bro, Lana, it's too late. It's too late to do that na. Medyo mahirap kasi gawin yun eh from server side na ipagsama, mag-server merge. Pero pwede. Nagawa nila yun eh sa Singa, Indonesia. Dati may sariling, sariling server Indo eh. Tapos ang ginawa nila, nemerge sila sa Indo cha sa MYSG. Isang server na lang sila. Ewan ko kung willing sila gum gumanan ulit. Pero pwede naman. Tinamad din ako. Need pa unlock per chapter. Tapos bye-bye card. So... Kaso nga lang, pag ginawa kasi nilang libre lahat ng cards, ano lang ang mangyayari sa kanila eh. Siguro malaki yung mawawalang kita sa kanila. Wala na silang kita masyado. Pag skins lang ibibenta sa LOR, mga card pack, boards, ganun, chapet. Ewan ko lang kung magkakara pa yung LOR. TFT nga, di ba? Hindi masyado malaki yung ano nila. Hindi, malaki, hindi masyado malaki revenue ng TFT eh. Kasi mura lang yung mga binibenta nila. Tapos hindi, kos puro cosmetics lang. Boy na boy pa rin kasi Viet para at least marami. Oh, yung Vietnam lang talaga boy ngayon sa SEA. Thailand, PH, tsaka MYSG, Indo. Wala na masyado sa LOL PEC. Dapat pagsama nila yung apat na server na yan eh. Yung Vietnam lang siguro ibang server. He hasn't locked it in yet. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> LORP na ka mababa kita talaga. Lost leader na lang yung LOR. Wala eh. Hirap kasi card game eh. Chaddy uso card game ngayon eh. Kahit ang ganda ng mga... Kahit ang gusto lang sa LOR, maganda yung art nila eh. <laughs> Yan lang. Doon lang ako nanonood ng LOR. Kapag may mga ano, animation, tsaka mga itsura ng cards. Tapos pag nakita ko na, okay na. <laughs> di, ko, di ko lalaroin. Kasi yung lore ng ano yung lore ng MMORPG in, maraming marami silang kinuwang character daw sa LOR eh, dahil sa LOR. Kumbaga yung Legends of Frontera yung parang lore ng LOL universe. Sino bias ko sa NGX? Ha? Lahat. Uy, you miss back. First pick na Asus ah. Amin naman yung Nasus. Amin naman yung Nasus Ash. Asus is at Nasus Ash the, the new meta. May aso na to no. Biglang nagiging meta. Kahit hindi na Sena yung kasama niya. Yung unang variation, Sena, Sena Nasus eh. Tapos naging Sena Karma. I mean, naging Nasus Karma. Tapos ngayon, Ash Nasus na. Okay. Maraming side character. Oh, maraming mga side cap. Kapag mahilig ka sa lore, maganda mag Runeterra. Marami ka makita. Makita ang kakaibang mga character dun. nag introduce sila ng mga bawang character sa Legends of Runeterra. Hey Coach Mel! Sayang wala ka sa, sayang wala ka sa Thailand. Ano ba schedule ng BRU? Mabigat pa schedule nyo? Or winnable? Schedule ng BRU? Uy! Team Flash! Makati! Team Flash Ibos? O nga, medyo mabigat pala schedule nila. Pero winnable. Kailangan nila manalo ng dalawa. 
Ito, Ibos. Pag nanalo NGX sa Ibos, tapos nanalo yung BR sa Ibos, laglag tong Ibos. Shivana Yumi Garen. Oh, nice pump. Immigration prop. Sana makalipad ka na. Paano yan pag LAN event? Hindi ka rin makakalipad sa LAN tour na. Man, Thailand din pa naman yun. Kung ibang bansa, kaya pa sana siguro gawa ng paraan eh. Kaso pag yung tournament mismo, dun din. Disaster. Wow! Ashe! Kill! Oh! Nilock yung kill! Interesting! Ang labo ng comp nila. Bakit nag-kill? Ayun, kinasa din. Hmm. Scaling pala gusto nyo ha. Mas malaka scaling namin. <laughs> Ap apat scaling nila oh. Kasa din, Shibana, Yumi, Porky. Ayan. Scaling pala ha. 21 ko pa makukuna yung document from Embassy sa Thai. Ah. Kill jungle, di yan. May listen eh. 21. Ah, so next week, baka makapunta ka na. Kailangan lang makalik Kailangan nyo lang makaligtas this week. Ano ba kalaban nyo bukas? Team Flash? Okay, ayan. Ayan. Tiwala lang. Bali, ito na lang. Dito ka lang makakapunta sa Ibos. Kung sakali. I see, I see. Hmm. Tinapatan scaling sa scaling. Eh, pangat yun. Maganda sana yung kill ko ba yung mga Samira, Shivana, yung may, 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 mga nakakapasok, mga nakakatao. Nakakot pag kumasok. Wala akong maulti kasi yung kill dito. Sa rek na one day lang. <laughs> pag nahuli. One day lang. Kaso pag nahuli, lifetime. Hindi na siya makakalipad kahit kailan. Disaster. PSO... They're kind of feeling it. Like, they're also here. What's the trophy? But my trophy is already here. One of the things about the PSO comp is that they're playing for time. This is WCS. This is the ultimate scaling comp. You got that Nasus. You got that kill. Sure, opposite end. You got a Cassidy that's a little bit pesky to deal with. But, hey, I think there's really good answers here. So, there's a possibility that PSO, if they can extend it to 25 minutes of play, it's entirely doable. But again, a bit dubious when you consider the fact that uh, we already have Briam still having a really strong pick in the Garen as well as Corky. And then, you know, of course, Kassadin coming in the mix. So once he hits at level 13, he can be so, so difficult to deal with, especially with him being in the hands of Briam East United Esports. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second game of our second matchup for today. Persis Esports starting on a blue side. Little tempo. Briam United Hail. on the red side. Little tempo din yung ano. Ash. Ah, AD Ash ba to? Ba't naka little tempo Ash niya on hit? Hindi siya yung poke type. Hindi siya yung mandate type. Pwede ba rin ba build ng Lee Sin Serpent Swank? Pwede, pwede. Ano lang sila? Same sila ng ano ng Ghost Blade? Ba't may kulay yung paa ng Krugs dito? Ay sa. Oh, di naganod si di nagrelic sil si Bangka. Pero di tao pa lang gold forty plus twenty lang mabas. Pag nalas hit. Sixty five. Paano yun pag walang ano? Pag di nila si Nies, magkaka-minus gold ba sila? Parang okay lang yata di nila si Nies eh, no? Pag walang stacks. Hayaan lang nila mamatay. Hindi ko kasi matatry itong double relic shield eh. Tatry ko nga ito. Pag di ako nag-CS kung may minus gold. Boss Shems, kapag nag-double relic, kailan ibibenta ng ADC sa kanya? Di na kayo kailangan ibibenta pag nag-evolve na yan. Di na kailangan, ano, pwede na siya mag-stack ulit. I mean, mawawala na yung penalty pag nag-evolve. 
So he's really going Ooh. fast. Oh, looks like it's going to be a big fight right off the bat here. I think Bang got himself caught up a little bit. In the oh, suntukan malala ah. Hindi ko to ihutan ng garin. Oh, patay. Dahil, talo sila dun. Yes, you meetings. Pag nabawas lang pag napatay mo si ES. Pero pag wala, passive gold lang. Ah, wala. Or should I say they're just feeling rather adventurous, I would say. When such an early invade, I don't know what to make out of it because honestly, they don't really have any sort of burst spike and could be just prowling upon them. Mana nerf na daw yung support items, sabi ni Riot Tech siya sa Twitter. Kita ba naman na kailangan mo talaga yun eh? Pag nakita mo, nakadoblean sila. Ewan ko lang kung kailan, kung 3.1 or 3.1 na to. Game analysis team. Ah, yun pala eh. Oo nga. Ayun na, nag-nerf na nila yung support item. Pati pala sa si Seekel oh, si R.I.X. Doom. Seekel sa ADC pwede rin. Dami nagre-reklamo sa double support item. Wala, BRU win. Taba na naman ng Shibana. Sarap lang buhay ng Golden Pit ngayon ah. Last game, 2-0 siya. Ngayon, 2-0 na naman. Tapos ngayon, Shibana pagamit niya. Favorite champion. Wala na, sure win na yan. Ang chance lang mga PSO manalo is... Ash. Ash ulti, TF ulti. Tapos may mapeta sila. Tapos pag naka-QSS na tong BRU, di nila magagawa yan. Clean win ba RQ? Medyo. Medyo may pagkatamang kabasa sa dulo. Yung first game. Tamang... Clean yung early to mid. Pero yung late game medyo sloppy. Nakampante kasi. Pero second game is generally clean naman. Nagde-debate si Doom Snitch sa Coach Tan Sentinels kung mas maganda ba si Ikel or Targon. Ah. Ano sabi? Ayun na yung wombo kombo nila Ash arrow sabay ulti ng TF Congrats Anong anong nanalo? Anong nanalo? Anong mas maganda? Feel ko shield eh. Ah, depende pala sa gamit mo. Or double shield or double cycle or hybrid yung pinakamagandang combination. Parang double shield yung pinakasafe. Ewan ko lang kung yung cycle gagana din. Shout out kay James Red. Nakapulat sila sa kanina. Arke, may pahiga pa. Rek tatulog after ng game. Sabi nito, mas okay daw AD ng Seekel. Yung Sentinel's Coach mas okay daw health. Tapos mas maraming gold. Ah. Sa Samira, pag ko sa Samira, mas maganda talaga shield eh. Kasi, parang bagay sa Samira yung double yung shield. Kasi, hindi nag HP item ang Samira AD eh. So, tas sobrang, tas ano pa, close range pa siya. Oop, nice ulti. Maso nga lang, yung mga ibang tropa mo, naiwan. Flash, flash na ah. So even though they got a good jump, they weren't able to find a kill. That was intervented. That could be a good kill for our Brave United, but all thanks to the kill. Pero ang ano yun? Ang ang ending statement is OP and double support item. But BRU, we're just going in for some deep dive into the jungle once again. When you do have what the Jez attaching to somebody out there, it's still gonna be pretty tough. They will eventually secure their first turret though. Not much that they can basically answer back with this. They try to read the repeat. PSL's only effort is to have Tech Maturgy coming in with a gold card with the Destiny Gate. 
Hindi naman yung ano, Yumi niyo. Hindi na siya nag-guard doon din Spurs item. Stuff of flowing water na. Pwede yata stuff tsaka tapos mandate na. Stuff mandate yata build ang support ngayon eh. Or mandate stuff. Hindi na kailangan. Or ardent. Ardent or mandate. Ano mas maganda? Feel ko mas maganda mandate eh. Kahit naka ano sila, porky. Hindi pwede naman dito mag... Ardent, Shivana, Corky kasi. Ay, sarap ng Shivana. 5-0. Paldo. 1K GPM. Griffmaker. Natry ko yung kill. Pure AD kill versus pure AP kill. Mas maganda talaga pure AD. Tinry ko yung damage eh. Yung damage ng ape, kahit naka full stacks yung Rift Maker, mas masakit pa rin yung AD. Ah, Ardent. Ayan na, Ardent si Wata. Just understandable. Corky Shivana kasi. Uff, nakakomit na yung TF ah. Ang tapang naman ng TF. Ludens build, tapos tapos comet. Ayun, pinasukan ka. Pasok, patay, patay na patay ka talaga kayo. Wawala na si Godzilla. Mm. Mm. Uh, isang combo lang siya. I-auto Q. I-Q nga lang ginamit niya eh. Nabura yung TF eh. Walang defensive-defensive item sa mandong to. Very clean, very clean. Team Gap. It's a Team Gap, boys. Two-zero angle. Sakto lang. Quick games para NGX na yung maglalaro. Perfect timing. Quick 2-0. Nasa Aram tayo. Aram. Aram tayo with guild mates. Hindi pa ako naglalagay ng... Hindi pa wala pa ako ambag sa points sa guild. Buff ba si Vanna? Naano na na-rework yung ulti niya? Ginawa na siyang Omnivamp. Oh! 1v1? Uy! Pinalo-palo. Kaso nga lang. Hindi sapat. Pinakasan lang. After neto, after neto. Oop! Tapong ng Shibana! I-flash! Wala siyang buhay! Ala ka! Burira, medyo spicy. Buhay pa yung ano, Shibana kaso. Oop! Nevermind, Garen is still alive. Just Garen things. Pinapaktapakan ng kasa din. Ganda ng comp ng ano, BRU. Lahat pwede niya kakapitan eh. Yumi Corky, masakit. Yumi Garen, makunat. Yumi Shivana, makunat. Tsaka masakit. Yumi Kasa din, sustain. Tapos damage pa. Kahit, kanina, kahit sinong kapitan ng Yumi, solid eh. Pwede makasali sa guild. May slot ba tayo sa guild? Check ko nga. Check ka lang. Kung may slot, sige go lang. Apply ka na. Garen Comet. Ayos yan ah. Ayan lagad itong Garen to Thailand. True. Oh, still. Jungle Gap. Pakitaan mo ng jungle gap. Wala. Kinulang yung smite. Kinulang sa palo. Ay, may slot pala tayo eh. Dami palang slot eh. Sige, sali ka. Sino yan? John Albert. Apply ka lang, apply ka lang. Nazu name ko. Apply ka sa ano? Apply ka lang sa guild RBGY. Search mo. Search mo RBGY tapos apply na. Dahil yung ningat-ngat men. Ayun. Na double kill sa comet. Ayun. 
and in fact does get a turret down as well. Burium wasting no time, moves into the bottom lane. The minions have all two RCD, pa? Huh? But may CD ka? Time here for Burium as he continues to pile down this tier three turret. Take a mercy and churl doing their absolute best here to try to defend, but because he's not a little tempo, Ash. Too much to bear. Ano ba build niya? Gusto mo makita build ng Ash niya? Hindi siya mga kapalo nito eh. Ma kasa din si ba nagarin pag nakapalo yung Ash dinaya parang mas mas parang mas parang pangat yata ulam ng ano PSO questionable saamli ka coach ge pasok sure go lang apply na wala gil BRU kanya kanyang buhay Search nyo lang, search nyo lang, ano, search nyo lang RBGY. Tapos comment nyo ng IG nyo. Pag nakapag, ano na, pag nakapag-apply na. Winawilis-walis lang ng BR ito eh. Congrats, congrats in advance, kahit di pa tapos yung laban. After 3 minutes, before 5 minutes, alam ko na, sure win. Nung nakita ko, 3-0 yung Shibana. Okay. Ah, pag umalis sa guild, may cooldown. I see, I see, I see. Doon pala nangyayari. Pwede bukas ka nalang sumali. Or, o, paalala mo lang sa akin bukas. Stream ka naman, magkakostream naman nalang ulit ako bukas eh. First two games lang ikakostream ko bukas. RQ tsaka NGX, sakto. First two games sila eh. Matagal na may nag-apply sa guild eh. Usually top fan lang or active viewer lang ina-invite ko eh. Ayun yung kill, walang bawas men. Wala talagang bawas yung kill nyo. Kaya di ako ano sa AP kill. Tinray ka talaga pag ano yung AP kill. Ang ano talaga, mas malakas talaga AD. Kahit mag 3 items yung AP kill, parang nakukulangan pa rin ako sa bawas. Pag AD kesa yung kill, nagsascale pa rin yung ulti eh. Uy, nice kick! At least may highlights ka na. 2 in 1 yun ah Nasa stream mo naman ako lagi Oh nga si John Albert Pasok ka lang Anong chances na turn around dyan? Zero Ay pag nawalan sila ng internet Ayan mananalo Congrats BRU Oy 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 aram 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 Masa yung mga kagil datin? Pa points tayo pa points tayo Habang nag-aantay NGX na Active, active viewers, accept mo ba? Oo oh, naman. Aram. Aram warrior ako. Ano ba yung ano ngayon? Wait lang ah. Aram legend, 13k points. Dapat na ako mag-aram elite guys. 600 points na ng aram elite na ako. Paano mag-open guild? Bawal mag-open party sa guild? Tinanggal na yung open party? Asan siya, Twilight? Asan na yan? Asan siya, no? Hindi ko ma-invite si Kane. Ayan, game na. Game na, game na, game na. Saka, hindi ko na-invite yung isa. Sorry, hindi ko na-invite yung isa. Game mo lang kasi. Ah, yung plus sa baba. Sayang. Hindi ko na-open party. Ah, nasa baba na pala yun. Open party sana para paunahan. Brom kaya ako. Mas maraming points kasi pag first time gamitin yung champion eh. Di pa ako nagbabrom sa Aram. Kaya ako na tank. Gumagana ba support item dito sa Aram? Feel ko gumagana siya eh. Ay naku, comment na yata to. Atank mo, alay na. Alay, alay muna. Ay hindi, pag nag-roll tapos bumalik sa original champ, may points din to eh. Ayan, pag nag-ganyan ako. Last 10 points yun eh. <laughs> min maxing yun eh, no? try hard na try hard sa aram para lang sa points tapos pag nag snowball 10 points din to SR SV di ako makaparasok sa aram mo ikaw ba yung isa? may isa pa nag ano yun di ko na yung leaks leakly something ikaw ba yun? Nakavaik ka last game or dami lang yun? Di pa ako naglalaro ng rank ngayon araw. Kaya kung may nakalaro kayong Rebenga, di ako yun. Wait, uh, batak pa yung dalawa o oh. naka-Aram Legend na sila. Or Aram ano na yun? Aram Elite. 
Uy, may Aram King kami oh, si Matigas. Wow. May Aram King pala kami sa guild. Ah, nga sing idea niya. Batak yung mga, ah, Aram Royalty. Aram Royalty pala. Nahiya naman ako sa rank ko. Asa na yung ano? May support item ba dito? Ay, pala. Bawa lang support item sa Aram. Sayang, sayang. Paano magandang bilim buhayin dito sa Brom? Comet. Comet first item. Tara na lang. Game na. <laughs> ito na ito. It's the tech. Kasa din. Ano yan? Ba't kaya? Kal try hard kalaban. Ang uh, ginugusto niya ito ah. P pwede ba yung same IGN? Pwede. Pero yung tag iba. Check mo lang na yung tag. Yung tag ko kasi hashtag main. Hmm. Hmm. Boom. Masaktan yung apat ah. Oh. 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 Tapos kailangan maganda yung ano ko. KDA. Hindi ako pwede mamatay ng basta-basta. Para maraming points. Parang hina ng comp na. Hindi, maikail naman kami. Ang ganda. Hindi na mawangas ng badge nila oh. May aram king pala kami. Winnable. Storm, Shiv, IE. Ulti, sal, 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 sa mukha. Ito, may pumasok. Nakatatak yan. Itaktak mo. Ayan, nataktakan, natakatakan ako na eh. Uy, hindi pasok. Takay, wala akong kill, sayang. Yo, inesis ng kill, benta. Wala kasi support item dito eh. Tagal-tagal ng comment ko. Ang magandang first item dito. Sunfire. Or Fumble Winter. Fumble Winter bro nga tayo. Fumble Winter. Tapos. Warmogs. Uy. Uy yun. Nice. Ang patakan yan. Ibang commit. Limang comment tayo guys. Hmm. Naharangan ko. Naharangan ko yung sama ng loob. Kaso di ko maharangan yung ulti na Lux. Bahala kayo dyan. Hmm. Hmm. Pinalo ng ano. Pinalo ng pintuan. Oops. Uy, pumasok ko. Oh. Patakan nyo. Tay, di ka napatay. Warmogs, para may region tayo. 500 HP na yata ito, eh, diba? Oo, oh, 500 HP yata pag nabuo ko na yung Fumble Winter ko. Sa, para mataas din yung lifesteal ng ano. Para mataas din yung lifesteal ng Font of Life ko. Debated. Ay, yun lang. Aray, sakit nyo naman, idol. Hindi ko mapatay, Rakan. Maganda pala ko. Ay, ngayon ko lang nakita. May brand pala kami. Ganda ng brand dito. Aray, ke. Be, be. Ang sakit. Uy, mandate. Hindi kasi bagay mandate sa akin, eh. Wala akong, hindi ko magagamit yung AP ko. Hmm. Hmm, naka-cancel ko. Pasok. Urgh! Hindi ko na-Q! Sayang. Full stack Rift Maker plus comment. Oo nga, no? Gagana yung ano. Pag na-full stack mo yung Rift Maker, mas bataas din yung bawas ng comment. True damage, true damage yung comment. Yung additional damage. Pwede rin, no? Pwede rin.
Oh, oh, Ramos. I got you, I got you. Patakan lang natin lahat ng kalaban. Ayun lang, nasipa ako. Ginamitan akong pansi. Ayun lang. Oh, shit. Ganda na sipa ng lisin. Nasipa kaming lahat. Sorry. Sakit. Wala kasi yung armor. Na-clean na clean fight kami dun ah. Ito na. Wala na ba HP ko? Wala na pa dalawang tori sila dun. Tara, bawiin natin. Hindi tayo papayag. Makumit malala. Advance mag-resip. So, yun. Ito na lang. So, follow na lang. Nice one. Shot down. Scaling naman kami. Scaling. Sena. Wala naman silang front. Wala kami damage. Pero mamaya may bawas na kami. Level 10 na yung kill. May bawas na yan. Oh my god, wasak sila. Oh my god, where's my team? Ala, where's my team? Nawala na sila. Bye time. Bye time. Yun lang, di ako pinapansin. Di ako pinapansin ng kalaban. Nalatalo tayo. Tapos na. Aba, may Aram Legend pala sa kakabit. Ganado yung rakan. Tala tayo. Def, 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 def. Paglaban nyo ang ano natin. Nice. Na-clear. Oy! Natapos pa din. May lakad yung kalaban bukas. Shado naman naman may nanadali yung pagkatapos. Sapa-sapa. Plus 16 lang tuloy nakuha ko dun. Okay lang. May nakuha na yata ako. May nakuha na ba ako nga dito? Reward. Ah, ito. May points pala dito eh. Ilan na points ko? Matapos pala points ko eh. 170 points pala ako kahit wala akong ginagawa. Ah, kasi ano, nagkaka-points ako kasi dahil sa mga sniper. Kaya ang dami kong nakuha ang points. Duel ka boss. Wait lang, wait. Nagpapa-points kami sa guild eh. Babawi lang kami. Echo Rift Maker. Maganda kaya ito. Burst type kasi ako eh. We may win no? Oh. Sheesh! Okay na, okay na. Nice one. Good job. Good job. Sniper Rooney. Nice, 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 nice. Ito, nababawi na ako. Tank kasi ako kanina. Wala akong magawa. Taga. Taga sa lalang ako ng bawas. Ang boring. Ito, guguntingin ko na mga to. Walang magagawa yung lock sa akin. Ida-double ko yung combo niya. Problema ko lang dito yung Mastery tsaka Z. Ba't walang tag to? Wala kang tag. Uy! Ano yan? 
Hmm. Dito mama yung araw ng baro sa akin eh. Walang bawas. Aray, 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 aray. Ang sayang, ang sakit. What's up? Nangyari sa Nami. Nabura. <laughs> Stuck tayo ng passive third skill. Stuck tayo third skill, tas pasok. Snip, snip, snip. Oh, walang tatama. Uy, yung sayon! Hindi ako mabahin. Hindi ako natamaan. Problema ko pala mana. Baba na mana ng Gwen. Okay. Wala ko second skill. Wait lang. This one. Yes, yes, yes muna ako guys. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. Pinlasyan ako. Wala kasi yung mana. Wala kasi yung buhay. Tingin natin to. Saka saan yung Zed? Oh, wala. Lost naman mong case itong bike. Hindi nga siya nag-ulti eh. Literal pinapalo lang niya. Ay, kinalkal ako ng zombie. Ayop yan, may boots na ako. Wala kasi yung boots. Hindi ko mapalagal. Lag-lag na yung Perseus. 0-5 na sila. Oh, lusot, lusot. Ayun lang, may hindi dito. Aray, aray, aray. Binuldos tayo, men. What the heck? Wala tayong frontline. Pinaglalaroin ko na yung Lux Chavars eh. Di nila ako matamaan eh. Kasi yung Mastery eh, pal. Naku po. Dehado na naman tayo mga boys. Tara, tara, tara. Bawi yan, bawi. Buhay pa yun? Ay, buhay pa yung Lux! Ulti. What? Di pa napatay. Naflashan yung ulti ng Lux bar. Need, yung, need ko patayin yung Yee. Ito na nga. Speaking of Yee. Nice bubble. Hmm, ganda na SS ng Echo dun. I'm dying, boys. Wow. Baka Aram Legend yan. Not today. Not today, sire. Aray, chok lang. Patapusan ka na. Oh, yung even. Nice. Enemy slain. Enemy slain. Memories I sit here with my allies. 
Game, game, game. Hindi ko makapag-free hit sa larong to. Ay na sasaktan ko. Tumulo sila yung araw ng baro sa akin eh. Nice, tuli. Ngayon true damage yung third skill first skill ko sa gitna. Ito ang ulti ko eh, pag tumama. Kasi di ko makalapit, may tori kasi. Huwag kuya sa yun! Aray, sakit. Oh, any. You have slain an enemy. Enemy slain. Hey, nice team. Lao mo patay ah. Gusto mo namang kiss itong bike? Aray, 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 aray! Sayon, nawi ako. Tar, katapusin ko na. Oras na. Para pumanaw. Ano magandang third item dito? Raba dun? Or magliandre kaya ako? Raba dun na lang. Ay, hindi alam ko na Reflector Para ko muna ako sa mga Mangas na yan Ayan, okay na! Holy shit. Right, na pala yung draft. Between Nigma Galaxy and Evos, Nigma will be starting on a blue side. It looks like, as Evos will be on the red. So first bands will be coming through. Let's see whether it's going to be going according to plan or is there going to be the wrenches thrown into the works. Jace is going to be the first ban, looking pretty standard so far, I think. Yeah, like he doesn't have he does have a hammer, but it won't be put into good use into this matchup. Unfortunately, no hammer taker in wall rip just yet. That will be a real spanner being thrown out if mm -hmm. there is. Well, Evo's interesting choice as a starter ban as they take out Zed. We've seen a whole lot of it coming out of the likes of Oi na. for multiple times. Oi na. I mean, sometimes. No, 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 net. But usually, Nick Magax. No, 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 net slight. That sort of built in a flare. But these goods, na. Oi, 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 oi. 
Usually when you start off with bats like Game na game na game na game na. NGX win, come on, come on, NGX. Now you have Lucian still open up. You also have the Yumi left available. So now it's Evo's to see. Let's go. Share ka lang yung post. Share ka lang yung stream ko. Baka kasi akala na mga tao wala patay na. Ba't ganun din nag-load yung comments? Sorry sa mga kaluro ko sa Aram. Wait lang. Tapos na lang itong Aram guys. What is Evo's gonna pick in reply? Mm. Evo Seasports, they have an opportunity for that Yumi pickup. But mm, okay, then. Perhaps a little bit more priority. First know, pick Lucian. First pick such as the Renekton, which we see Tipper playing a whole lot of as compared to G for a May bit. Makita kaya tayong aso. We expected at least a very solid uh, starter for Nygma Galaxy. Here is Valdis turn to pick here. Has to consider the fact that uh, if they don't pick the Yumi right now, it'll be given over to Nygma Galaxy. But then again, then Ooh, spicy is a little bit too hard to pass on. You, you've already high, seen high priority, how much yeah. Oh, Yumi has dealt with this Dragon Lady on board, and for enough, we do see the Kitty Cat on board. Yeah, well, I mean, with Yumi being on the pool here, it's no surprise that NJ is going to be picking it up for themselves. What about Karma? We'll have another pick. Well, lost on Karma, man. What are going to try to pair together with this? Who's that? 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 Nothing too Aisa. surprising. Fairly solid pick. And then there's one more pick now from Evo's Esports, and looks like they may be going for the Ziggs. Gundan. It should be the case where we receive uh, Triple V fall back to something that's pretty standard for him to have a really good lane clear uh, hitting into uh, all these early game. And of course, by the time you hit late game, the Ziggs is going to be an unstoppable force, even if you fall behind. Just Drop that Mega Infernal Bomb and you can easily clear off ways. Land some objective game 1? Oh, game 1 pa lang to? Game 1 pa lang to? Sorry guys, in game pa ako eh. Uh, Mainit pa yung Aram namin eh. Hindi ko expected na masyadong mainit yung, yung Aram. There. Baron Laners, so we expect a lot more focus from Evos to annihilate any form of threat coming in from Nate McGuire. Hindi kami makapush. Ang baduy kasi ng kalaban, Barus. Barus, Barus Lux pag napush dinaya. So, all they want to do from Evos Esports Get those point and click stuns and drop that mega infernal bomb just to nuke out members of Nigma Galaxy. Easier said than done because you have a Garen that could easily uh, tank up all the damage on top of draw to basically provide enough of that sustainability hitting into uh, some of all these major 5v5s. No lease in whatsoever. So, right, them luck Nigma now. Galaxy, I wonder what is their alternatives instead of basically focusing on the mid lane. What happened? They have. Decided, hey, we don't want to deal with a set, we don't want to deal with a Fiora, so we have an easy cruise overall. And Jex is the Morgana blue side, no? Oh, si Reniel, oh, tamang camera time. Kalita si TG, ah. Be rather interesting. Tell you what, if they do lock this in, si Reniel, nagahanap ng screen time. It could be a misfortune support, but hey. Yung mga kampanya, focus up, focus, oh. But, siya tamang saya lang sa gilid. Mid Garen. They have been presenting for... Hindi pa kasi natin alam kung sino yung mid, eh. G4 could also utilize in the mid lane. Mahilig mag last pick mid si G4. Gragas, or it could even be a support Gragas. But nevertheless, I think Evos might want to save the support pick something a little bit stronger. Yumi kasi trabaho eh. Tagakapit lang eh. Ooh, Akali. Gonna pick out NGX. Ayun, pwede yan kayo rin. Pwede yan kayo rin, Akali. Bagay sa kanya. Bagay sa playstyle na yan. Pag walang Zed, pwede siya mag-Akali. You just basically have to spy. Just locking down any sort of target with the Cs and Desis. And have... Akali to follow up with a perfect execution. There's a slight buff to Akali as a recent patch where she does get basically a little bit more uh, charge of energy when she does drop the Shroud. Now, it was it isn't going to make things any easier for them. Where you want to catch them, you got to try really hard where we see a little bit of mobility coming in with the Quirky as the final pick. So, it's going to be quite neutral to begin with. I think both sides have... Minus naman na laban. Di na, di kami manalo sa team fight. So, kami. coming from long range, and on top of that, 5v5 is gonna look like oh, shit. Uh, a strong engagement niya. tool coming in from supporter that's having that Gragas duty. So, expect him to drop 
huge explosive cast either to save his teammates or basically start those fights. Mm, medyo scrappy yung lineup ng NGX ah. Mas malinis lineup ng Evos. Take off after pick off. Pero um, Chami Garen. So Joshi has got Is the Chami Garen? So Chami possibly will just be on this barren lane island with Tipper. Uh we'll let them settle the scores while I I just want to see Big Bagaxi how Gala much Yo, isara pa pong kakatapos lang na ako makain ah. Ibos. That's going to be the big question in my mind here. May sopa na rin sila. They can actually extract so much value out of this lineup. It could prove to be very very useful here. But then Ibos no slouch either. I mean Ziggs, Corky is in the game. Damage they can uh, definitely pull off and uh, Tipper has been exemplary on that Renekton. So ah, gusto lang niya yung kampas niya Nexus. So no matter how you cut it though, this is definitely going to be a close one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely the case. Where so far both teams just stuck through their game plan. It's not too uh, far of the ideation that they had coming from previous weeks. They're having uh, their signature style of play for the Bagaxi. Common compose is how they really want to run the early game, and then you'll just find this uh, slow. Uh, Ganda pala speed. Infinity Orb sa Gwen. Uh, pag uh, nagano, pag nagcrit yung Orb ko. Well, true damage. A lot of That's yung true damage ko nagkikrit. Their marksmen themselves, whenever they do have that Lucian. So Wala, share ko lang. Hindi pa kasi tapos yung aram ko eh. Magta 20 minutes la. Share ko lang. It feels like we have this online banter without them being <laughs> on the site itself. Tapos man yung sakay na Apple yeah, na to eh. Guys, oh shit, may E pala dito. Especially if you do have a kind of monster energy, you can unleash the beast. <laughs> so, let's see if the stars align or will... Oh, the Tigers fought their way through because we're getting ourselves prepared for game one. So, I want to hear your thoughts, Victor. Like, we're seeing the draft. Like, is there uh, a oh, favorite no, for game one at the release from the sort of picks that they've gone with? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, it's a bit mixed for me because on the one hand, I love the fact that, you know, it was a lot of damage potential thanks to si the six, uh, six, uh, six, uh, Corky and Regragas uh, being oh, able to provide ayan. CC. Ayos camera. Potentially mess up whatever. Nagbago sila ng angle ah. Especially if you try to get him in the face. But then on the other hand, Nygma has Yumi on his side. And that means that, you know, if if all goes well, it, nasa it aram pa rin pala. Oh, nasa aram pa rin ako. You know, Pwede yung masyado mga pag-commentate. So, Mamaya. I know, it's, it's really hard for Ito me na. to say if I have Deciding a favorite pick between these two guys here. But those are the, pretty much the, 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 the things that come to mind for me. Is that the Evos has a lot of damage potential, but Nigma has Yumi that can keep uh, the Akali and Vi alive. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one to call. Well, I, I think this is like 51% to 49. Whichever the skill <laughs> is. <laughs> We'll just let it all unfold as we got the game underway. Big Bagaxi versus Evil Speed Sports. Mastery na to. Let's just check out these stats. Takat sa ulo yung mastery sa Aram. Definitely on to something here with a Ziggs pick that has secured, uh, of course, Ta -ay, what's up? Talo na kami, guys. Uh, Ayan, GG. Talo pa kami! Na master Yee, ka na master Yee, sir. Exchange down the dragon lane to be long drawn out. Unless, unless. Speaking of draw, oh, clear. Having a really good time here, coming with some close range pokes. As a Yumi, you just really want to get in their face. Every time you Ulti come yun. out of that, um, well, I don't want to say litter box Never as a mind. cat, but I don't know, maybe Ooh, a backpack, okay? Where you keep Yumi. So, um, every time you get back to the prop with the auto attack, <laughs> you <laughs> regain <laughs> mana. And you can continue Crazy. to spam and harass with that prowling projectile and malas kom ng NGX early kailangan nila mas takad yung dragon yun na win kong dala hurlo sila late game eh shiva na korky ziggs need need nila mas takad yung dragon hindi sa pat yung akali oh gap gap bakit chami gare ni chami yan unless he was gonna face more pressure there from chami no uh, flash top, matik na yan. Auto automatic pag walang flash yung taas. Akit pa si Jassi dyan. Well, Vi just mostly roaming around, trying to secure uh, the Skull Crab on the top side. And Aaron just getting up in the G4's face with a miss being brought up. G4 at least will be able to use his barrage in order to uh, melt down those minions in front of him. But nevertheless though, things looking very, very spry. Jushi now coming and uh, finding Baldus in the jungle here, trying to steal a couple of minions maybe, but then again, with Garen being around the corner, Jushi definitely doesn't want to stick around for too long. 
in its top what? lane, so instead backs down, picks up the blue buff instead. In the meantime, oh, no. not much, uh, not much opposition here for the Dragas and the Ziggs as Draw and Demon Kite both take the Skull Crab. Chami, but I know it's Chami, Chami, yeah. Coming back in to get, regain the priority, yeah. The oh. Demon Kite definitely needs to uh, pick it back. They don't have double point, ba uh, no, shielders. Litter box is not the right way. Long Sergeant carrier. Lucian. Kitty Carrier. Yes, Kitty Carrier, indeed. Yeah. But first, I really want to highlight this. Why don't you have Buckler? Maxi is off to a good start. Securing double Skull is always a good sign for a team. Like, great vision control. And of course, added diff, goal diff, on diff. top of it all, what's not to like. Now, Evo's Esports being denied a little bit of the so, EXP doesn't really hit their belt that's in that's much wave. inside of the jungle. So far, he has always been able to claw his way back. How long will it be the pronunciation? Wala na, baka si Joshi Miss yung managsabi na Joshi na lang. This is the first one will be Infernal yet again for today. Baba tuloy ng RM score ko, 65. Usually the case when you do see Aaron on in the Kali, what he does is that he tries to secure an early roam higher towards the top side, but now Tipper is on the Renekton, it's a little bit risky. So long as he has Dominus up, nobody really wants to die from Renekton, then this is one of the guys with the slick he has okay, moved na game ko. that oy, oy, oy. always turned Back to watching. Pwede na, pwede na a change for himself. So sticking to the lane is how it's gonna go, but oh gee, for Naka indicate only one support item per team. Ay, naka dalawa nga sila eh. One, one support item. When we look at how things will pan out for the early game at the very least, Nick Magaxi. Ewan ko lang kung pwede sickle sa ADC. Pero ipapatch to. Feel ko before next week. Nakapatch na tong support na to eh. Yeah, just trying to starve out. Or baka sa 3.1, 3.4A pa. That's the advantage you have when you have vision on the river. You're not really that concerned. Uh, about best spike uh, talo nga tayo eh try hard din kalaban niya sa aram mo try hard ang pa ang so, ang mga asa sa kontele in my master e ang badoy and now look at them they're uh i mean not that far ahead but wala kami pang pigil sa e nevertheless levels wise as well i mean chami's already up 7 so lugi kami late game falling back a little bit as you do see the lucian roaming up the river now are they going to be securing the next skull crab it looks like well, the Akali is already on the bottom lane. Oh. Just trying to NGX, come on, come on. It's a good early game, Jan. The next set of objectives come up, and it's going to be a good game. Morello, Parincha. The nerf of Morello. The land in the pit. Is it not a good Rift Maker first item or Leech Bane? Uh, potentially a low kill count game where teams will basically. Uh, no healing in the lab. Only favorable trades. Oh, it's my favorite. The Cleaver Corp. And so far, you can see that. It's my favorite. Or should I say, all sides of the lane? Kaita ka support item mo na bubu pa din yung first yung ludens. Where they've been able to read out movements from the opposition. Ay hindi na delay yung hindi na delay yung hindi na delay yung ADC sa first item. Kait nag ano kait nag relic shield. Kasi ang kasi pa rin. Gold wise, lamang yung grabes ng 300 gold dahil sa support item. Uh, Raid lang, okay. Either over mid or top side of the map. And oh, Kali might be staying. Raid lang, gahan to Raylan page version. Now, Vi is joining in the fray here, so at least she'll be able to hold her own against this Corky, but then you gotta watch Our out, Dragas is coming uh, by as well. Hindi so, nila makahanap na. Hindi uh, nila makahanap ng away itong NGX. Lakas ng kumpli eh. Pag may na-ulti yung Vi, ulti ng ano, ulti ng Yumi. Tapos Garen, sasaksakay na. Tapos Garen, sasaksakay na. Down by the mid. So this Evo's already getting some objectives on the board for themselves. And first, to add on top of that, this is the very reason why you won six on the team. With Satchel Charge, you could easily just uh, blow up structures so long as they're like, what, 10%, 15% of uh, tort health left. And with that, Evo's just have so much more priority across this entire section of the map, just opening up mid. So, definitely will be a little bit of struggle for uh, Nick Magaxi. And look at Evo's trying to find a pick, but Garen definitely isn't their core priority target overall. So, like I mentioned before, this is going to be a little bit of a slow burner because. Revs, pahina caster. Ah, malas ba? Ah, nga pala. Tinasan ko yung volume kasi nag-aaram pa ako. Eh na, wombo kombo kasa may counter engage. Tinaksak, ulti Yumi. Ganda na nga yung sistang dragas. Subus siya ata ang NGX boys natin. Unless, unless, uh, Demon Kite, let's go over the cleanup. Rat-ratin mo yan. Yung mga, yung mga hayop. Baril oh my god, the choke. Oh, Chami is doing it, maybe, maybe. 
Mayumi pa siya. Healing, healing. Palo para sa heal. Palo! Oh, Chami! Sayang! 1v1. Sayang, di siya pumalo. Kailangan kasi yung Yumi nga pumalo. Ay, nakakapit pa! Nice one! Sayang, walang flash. Pero okay lang. At least nakakapit yung Yumi. Yung bagong Yumi kasi kayo ngayon, kailangan, kailangan pumalo yung kung saan siya nakakapit para ma-heal. Mahina kasi yung initial heal. Font of Life pala si Dro. Ano ba scaling ng Font of Life? Tignan ko nga ulit to. Asa na yung runes? Font of Life is... Ah, 30% AP. 30% AP tapos 6% 6% healing. Mandate. Mandate plus font of life, no? Pag na-stun mo. Talo, T1 sa ano, Polaris? Yuck. Alam ko, talo sila kahapon sa ano eh, di ba? Sa isa. Sa isa. To actually tip the balance of favor because at least in terms of uh, this this uh, farming, in terms of objective taking, it seems like both of them are just so so even and just really. Anyari na po sa arc ito pa sa nilipit na nila yung kalaban. Inchiba na no boots so recta recta ko na tagad. Maganda dito sa NGX sa lahat silang pagmagaling pagmagaling po esto na akali kaya nyo busin lahat yun. Wala silang panghuli sa akali. Talo? Oo. Rip. Talo din pala sila dun. Alam ko sa talo, talo sila eh. 2-0. E di laglag na T1 or meron pang chance. Mga pag TI pa ba sila? Ana Thompson. Ana Thompson. Starting off with... Ah, may LCQ pa. Swerte naman. Riggs Q pag nabit. Oh, yung ano lang, spot lang sa kaka. Uy, nice steal. Jungle Gif. Jungle Gif, free hit Lucian. Come on, barrel barrel. Kaso ganda ng Valkyrie ng Porky. Ganda ng package ng Porky. Naipit sila lahat doon. Ah, oil pinaiba yung Polaris. Ah, meron pa ito sa LCQ. Hindi may chance pa pala. Ba't yung ano? Ba't yung NGX sa EU? Di na makakapasok. Wala na bang LCQ sa EU? Ba't sa SA may LCQ pa? Sayang bayad. Okay lang yan. Si, si Ana, kahit, kahit di siya manalo, sold na siya eh. Paldo na siya sa TI. Dami na niyang kanawa ang pera dun. Oh, NGX. Dragon stock lang. Okay lang. Isa pang dragon. Isa pang dragon na NGX. Kaya pa yan, kaya pa yan. Di mo naman magkalayo ng gilang yung gold. Almost the same lang. Winnable. Winnable NGX boys. Ah, third and second and third place lang. Ah, hindi pala bagong bracket pag LCQ. Saj. Kaya pala, kaya pala laglagan sila sa TS kahapon. Lost pa naman ang roster ng NGX. Hindi dito ah. Well, malakas din dito. Pero yung sa kabila, malakas din. Sa others. Seize turns. So long as Triple V is going to be around. Now, Tipper answers back. Yeah, Chami trying to take down this turret. We'll be able to slam it down. And Tipper not going to let him go without a fight, though. But then we'll be burning him down. Lamang na lamang pala si Chami dito. Tignan mo yung goal niyo. 9.4k. Yung Renekton, di masyado mayaman. Lamang pala sa goal yung NGX. Yung Ziggs lang yung mayaman sa Evos. Kayang-kayang huliin ng kakali to. 
Pag maganda yung pag na-check ng akali tong Ziggs, kaya-kaya nila manalo sa teamfight. Wala pa naman zone niya yung Ziggs. Tapos ang tagal ng ano niya, tagal ng hindi pa niya nabubuo yung Seraph. Yung Corky medyo kumahap din na, nakamanam yun na. Well, for now, they definitely will have a little bit of standstill before the next uh, big fight comes about. So far, both sides having great performances of their own, and Evo's Esports, sure, got themselves a couple of all these sort of pickings. Now, the Basta game is going to in time. They won't be able to hold on to Tier 1, so maybe they want to force... Let's go, Garen. Tiro mo, Garen, no, 10k, yo. Now, Same farm sila na Ziggs. Shopping average to the back, please taking... Na, nasa, nasa, nasa akali yung susi ng larong to. In akali we trust. Need niya na mag magandang flank. Need niya magandang flank sa likod. Ah, nagrektara ba doon yung Ziggs? Damage is life ah. Interesting. Shivana medyo pong sumasakit ito eh. Illusion kasi di siya makakapalo kasi sa zone na siya ng Shivana Renekton. Kaya di, siya ma di masyado makakaporma si Demon kahit dito. Kaya yung nasa akali talaga ang susi para makapasok sa backline. Siya lang pag-asa. Nakazone niya pa. Yung Vi, yung Vi medyo na mahihirapan eh. Nakazone niya na yung Ziggs tsaka Corky ah. No Meteor this game! Wala seryoso kasi. <laughs> seryoso ang laban kasi. Walang Meteor eh. Baldus, wala man lang enchantment niya boots oh. It's still the norm normy, the normy stone plate stasis redemption. Yung first, yung first two series kasi medyo one sided kaya meteor meteor lang mga tao eh. Kaya pag may karma, maganda ang karma meteor. Pope malala. He needs to utilize this Hellbreaker for those push on the side lanes. And if he doesn't do that, then what's the use of this Hellbreaker, right? So it, it's a tough call. So a lot of all these pieces have to be set uh, perfectly yeah, into so place. Man lang. And Bowl and Dragon, so para may fighting chance. Well, well, Another Dragon uh, Mountain, no? Ganda pa naman ang kailangan nila ng Mountain. Para kumunat yung team nila. Pabor na pabor yung Sagari, no? Tapos MR para sa Ziggs. Yung Repulsor parang pwede ngayon, no? Imbis na Prota Belt, pero okay lang din Prota Belt. Same lang naman sila. Para pag pumasok yung Shibana, tutulakan niya palayo. Tapos may movement speed pa yung Lucian. Ewan ko lang, hindi ko pa natatry kasi yung, repul yung bagong Repulsor. Pag mga ganyan composition o Gragas, Shibana, tsaka Renekton, pwede niya i-cancel yung dash pag na-timingan na maayos. Nagarabadan pa din siya, si Dro. Interesting. Hindi siya mag-ano Mandators Lugi sa late game Lugi talaga sa late game Loss of pwesto si Jaschi Bumula ng GA Kailangan niya mas steal to Medyo mahirap manalo NGX sa teamfight na to eh By time steal Come on, jungle diff, just chill, let's go. Oh, nice one! Nakuha na ako, Ali. Kaso sabog sila. Oh, lumalaban pa. We free hit, free hit. Free hit, Lucian. Baril, baril, and pure piso. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, puro piso. Di mapatay ng Lucian. Oh, no, sayang. Okay lang, at least nakuha nila yung dragon. Importante, nakuha yung dragon. Di pa namatay yung Corky. 1 HP. Baka malas. Makapag-baron yata. May ulti ba Lucian? May ulti yung may Lucian. Bibigay ba nila? Kaya yata nila. Hindi, wala ka. Next to late. Dapat pinuntaan nila. Kaya yata mag-exit kill. Oh, watch out. 
Demon Kai comes in here. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're not clear. Pass is just a task. You're not going to clear your top. 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 So far, they've lost a barrier. Yung clash, titigas. Yung akali, tigbibisa yung buhay nila, sayang. Pagka-arto ng akali, 1 HP yung Corgi, swerte. Ah, yan naman yung mortal na si Kuya mo, Demon Kite. Raba doon na rin yung Yumi. Baron power play will allow Evos to skill up a lot faster. As compared to Nigma Galaxy with heart shells all across. So, Nigma Galaxy. Lumo magkakaba ng skin tong akali. Crystal Rose. Or ibang champion yun. Not only you have to deal with Ziggs, G4, even on such low health, he's been committing with those shrapnel shells that he's dishing out. So much a mixed damage overall. And. One HP na din akali. Oo, kailangan niya iwas. Kailangan siguro iwasan na akali yung ulti ng Ziggs. Doon lang siya mahihirapan eh. Pag na-SSN siya lang yung Ziggs. Bibigay yata nila mid. Ayan, sa gilid ka na lang. Ito na humarap. Oh my god. Wave clear malala. Wala, di nagagana yung ano. Aray, sakit! Yung ulti ng Ziggs. Kalahati. Minus two ulti. Di yata nila madadef tong Torre na to. Or pwede nila saktan. Kahit bigay na lang nila eh. Feel ko okay lang eh. Busin lang nila yung Baron. Spirit Blossom. Spirit Blossom ba? Diba? Ay! Nako! Out of position. Bully yung Akali. Disaster. Hindi na nga pag-spell. Wala siya nabatong skill. Uy! Buti na lang. Walang objective. So okay, so okay. Wala naman, wala naman silang makuha. Wala naman silang makuha, iba? Triple Dragon naman yung GX eh. Kahit lugi sila sa scaling, Triple Dragon naman sila. Kahit pa paano, maganda yung, maganda yung ano. Nakabuff din yung skills sila. Early game comp with three dragons versus late game comp. Successful ambush. I finally managed to break that 1k mark, but that just goes to show how back and forth this game is. Single target then from NGX. Neither side, of course. Granted, we are seeing a game that has a noticeable deficit in kills, but that's because both of these teams are controlling all of these encounters. Sa katan ng core kina to. Sa katan ng dami na rin yung item. We start na agad. Na ay ano na sila? May package core ki. May pang force. Kailangan maganda pwesto na akali. Akali please ki. Tago ka sa deadly deadly. Oh shit. Oh shit, ang pangit. Oh no, nabura si Jossi. Oh no, yung Yumi na. Oh no. Naku, nahuli din yung Yumi. Ay, ganda ng... Jossi! Tawin yung... Na-steal ba? Na-steal, na-steal! Oh my god! Aaron is doing it! Ubus! Let's go, NGX! Kaso di pa yata tapos. Na-steal pa yun! OMG! Nahuli yung Yumi na ano yata siya, natulak siya ng Shivana sa gilid. Buti na still yun. Buti ka na, kahit pangat ang engage ng NGX doon. Item lock ni Lucian eh. Hindi yun ang BRK. Wala siyang mapapalitan eh. Hindi niya pwede palitan yung wits and kailangan niya ng MR. Cleaver lang kung sakali. Kung gusto niya mag-bork. Item lock na yung Gragas oh. Hindi, hindi pa naman. May rumble pa. Okay. 
with another Baron spawn up. Lanon G yung Shiva na. Buti na outplay na na outplay pa nila kahit papa ano. Dance ring around the rose if they may. And they will actually definitely fancy their chance so long as this buff is still activated. Aaron. Si no may G Elder. Lucian. Yun na. Gigira yun na. Ganda na po yung patay. Uli yung Corgi. Patay din yung Ziggs. And GX win. Ganda na po yung sunakali doon. Mapag-flank siyang siya yun. Dalawang palo lang yata Corgi. Nawala na siya eh. Nice, nice. Pwede yata nila yung end yan eh. Wala na yung dalawang Coro. May ads. Hindi ko kasalanan. Nabura yung ano, nabura yung Corgi. Nakapuesto yung Akali. Wala pa naman MR yung Corgi. Effective ba yung ganyang build sa Lucian? Oo. Ay, kaso boy na eh. Hindi, kaya na yung kalakalbo yung dalawang inhibitor. Baka nga pwede nila i-end eh. Depende, depende. Wala pang dragon form siya ba, ano? Pwede na try and or play it safe. Pwede sila mag-back boy na siya. Ano yan? Chill, chill, chill. Ayaw niya mag-GA, ha? Ayaw mag-GA ng Corky, ha? Ayan, burado ka sa Ziggs. Isang palo lang. Ano item na kakali? Nakaraba doon na siya. Haraba doon Void Stop Rift Maker from Morello. Pwede mag-GA last item yung kakali. Kada susukto na sa kasuntuan naglalag. So, naglalag ba? Okay na yung internet ko ngayon eh. Kanina, disaster. Item check prod. Baka naman. Isang lane na lang. Split push malalaw. Si Jastio, bahala kayo. Magsisplit push ako. Focus sa goal. Final Elder Drake. Hindi na ako sasama sa inyo. Ayan na, item lock na pala. Feel ko dapat J na lang last item na kali. Lakas na lang ng bawas niya. Pero okay lang. Tapusin lang ako, Nexus na lang ako. Bakit naman? Nice one. Comeback is real. Comeback is real. Chillin lang si Aaron, no? Chillin lang siya sa gilid. Good job, team. Good position lang ni Aaron. Sabi sa'yo, pag maganda pwesto ni Aaron, sure win sila. Katulad na nangyari sa BR. Hmm. Buti nakuha niya yung ano, buti nakuha rin niya yung Elder, no? Pinalo yung ano, nakritan yata. Nakuha niya yata nakakali, pumutok yung Elder, eh. Ayun, tingnan natin ang nangyari dito. Patay na si Jastie dito, eh. Ayun ko lang mukhang nangyari kay Baldus, nag-choke yung daliri ni Baldus. You know. Nag-choke yung, and then namatay din si Baldus. Parehas sila nag-smite. Ay, hindi nag-smite si Jastie, pero si Baldus nag-smite, mamamatay na kasi siya. Dito maganda o si Aero, no? Ganda na pwesto. Dalawang palo lang yung Corky, nang himatay na. Tumama yung third skill na kakali sa Corky, eh. Third Q auto, patay. Nice, coach. Isa pa, isa pa. Road to Thailand, baka naman. Dalawang PH sa Thailand. After NGX has just literally taken every single dragon up until that point, and just look at how the NGX win. And as compared to some of these matches, like you only have 22 kills over the span of around like sure one kill per minute. I'll take it. The bagay talaga na champion kay Aaron, mga Z, Akali, no, mga kupal. No, pa yde siya mag maging ano? Pa yde siya mag mag magwala. Execution of microseconds in those team fights and Page versus Vietnam sa playoffs true. Garen MVP. Kane is happy. Garen MVP. Most damage dealt. Garen. Ay hindi pala. Pero tasa ng damage nyo. Pag may level lang siguro pa bor sa kanya. Kaso ay mo but but ayaw maglabas. Ayaw ilabas ni Riot si level lang. May nakuha akong survey sa Riot. 
sa inbox. Tungkol siya sa Tom Kench eh. Ewan kung, ba't, ma kung maglalagay sila ng Tom Kench sa... Uy, may, may ano ah. May event ako. Ruination has come. Ano to? May nakuha ang border ng Ruination ah. Paano ko nakuha to? Ah, dahil sa ano. May novel sila. Libreng border. I see na. Uh, gameplay in mind and they knew exactly how they want to nail it down bit by bit step by step yeah of course we definitely need to take a breather from that yun tumas na yung points natin sa guild ay top 64 pala tayo sa server before that definitely have to thank snapdragon top 54 pala tayo sa server ikala ko sobrang lugi pala kami baka naman top 50 upper hand in this series and of course, on top of that, you can unleash the beast with Monster Energy. Simply head over to www.monsterenergy.com and of course, check out all the great deals that they have. Yeah, and last but not least, Exclusive Champion in Wild Rift. Nakita niya ba? Nakita niya ba? Ito may int na yan o, pakita ko sa inyo na kuha. Nagka-play ka ulit. Wait lang, wait lang. Promo yata sa bagong novel. Oo, alam ko may binibenta silang bagong novel eh. Tapos meron dito ang survey. Ito may survey ako. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ewan ko kung kayo, kahit kayo rin meron. Ito may survey si Wild Rift to. Nakita niya ba habang nag-aantay. Ito. Tungkol sa ano. Sa so, win trade. <laughs> Hindi natin masasabi. Pero pinakamaganda, pag nanalo sila, pag nanalo NGX ngayon, tsaka bukas, kahit uh, medyo magiging, hindi na siya, hindi na magiging importante itong RK NGX eh. Magiging ano lang itong importante RK NGX pag natalo sila sa EVOS. Ayun lang, ayun yung mangyayari. Pero pag no bearing naman to, walang kailangan gawin. May link sa survey, wala eh. Basta nag-notice lang ako sa... Nagka-notice lang ako sa... Tawag ito? Sa client. Offline ba sa Thailand? Oo, offline sa Thailand. Thailand nang lilipad na naman ng RK Bros natin eh. Four wins na eh. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Snapdragon Pro Series. My name is Victor Cax. Joining me here is Contra. And we're gonna be bringing you guys game number two of Evos versus... Di ko lang alam, di ko lang gets yung format. Saan mo pupunta yung fifth place dito sa fifth, sa playoffs? Even though it was few and far in between, they definitely didn't disappoint the moment they do break out. Kasi ito yung bracket eh. One, two, three, four, five. Parang ganun. Just look at one, two, three. Right? Like, one, two, three, like, four, five. Oh, Baga nun yata, no? First automatic popper bracket finals yung first seed. Oh, ganun yata yun eh. Yung four, five maglalaban dito sa lower bracket. Yan lang nakakita ko eh. Kaya maganda rin mag first seed. Para sa para uh, upper bracket finals tagad. Paano na push ng NGX ang top at mid lane? Nakuha nila Baron. Nanalo sila team fight. Ay, hindi nila nakuha yung Baron. Napatay nila yung... Ay, ayun na nga. Nag-status na nga si... Si CEO. Ay, oo. Nakuha nila Baron. Nakuha nila Baron. Tapos... Ayun. Basag top mid. Uh, Ooh, MVP, the serve. Uh, 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 yeah, so because the dragon's breath basically allows you to execute anybody that's 20, 25 percent. I, I I forgot what the ratio was, but <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, right? Like so long as you get that, like you deal true damage. Like you know, like you give that the team 
Grabe makakali, better than Twilight Shroud. Twilight Shroud pero Garen Mina na ngayon. Ano nangyari? Sino nanalo game 1 NGX vs EVOS? NGX, NGX. I would suspect so, really. Even given that, that performance in the last game, there, I would say that you know, if if uh, if things have turned out a little bit different, especially with the uh, dragon takes, I think Evos would have had a much better time. I mean, really, uh, Nigma denying all of the dragons there, the Evos really nullified whatever advantage they would have had otherwise uh, on Evos' side with the Shivana's pick. So yeah, let's see whether or not they'll be able to change things around a little bit coming into this next one because this time around. Evos is going to be starting on a blue side and will have the first pick. Still the same sort of bands that we're seeing, except for the fact that Nick Legaxi opts to take out Lucian instead, won't be using it for themselves as well. Evos uh, might actually look for other alternatives as a jungler because Shavala <laughs> David versus Goliath. Wow! Naisusulat yan. May land din yata final sa Iloilo. Meron, meron. Buwas. Magigest ako noon. Magigest ako doon. Ay, hindi ang mag-aano pala, mahingi ako pang kape. Kasi di ako, pina di ako lumipad sa ilo-ilo. Double stream ta? Ay, hindi pala doon. Hindi ko pala isi-stream. Naka nasa stream na Infinity 8 pala yung isa. Isi stream first two games naman si yung ano eh. Sakto kasi first two games tong Argy cha and GX buwas. Tapos sa hapon yung laban na naos. Tapos makita niya na rin yung bagong support. Eh wala ko si Flurry pa rin or yung bagong support nila maglalaro. Landin kaya ang David versus Gala. <laughs> I know. Sena is open. Interesting. We may Zed. I've been on your Zed. Auto ban talaga Zed ni Aaron. Home fourth pick. And they're the ones who have been able to secure themselves with Jace instead. Now, what's Evo's gonna respond with here? Is another round of Shivana. Ghost him. Ghost him. David vs Goliath. Oh. It was just my preference. Round two, round two, Shivana, Valdus. Yeah, we expect maybe a little bit more priority heading into the dragon. Wow, Ori. I've not seen Ori. Malabu yata tong Ori. May sena sila. Kailangan nila magaso. Yeah, matik na. Matik na yung aso. Do a little bit of trolling here on the evil side, apparently. Hilaro laro ni si True. Hey, nagplantan tree ng gamit ng panggawa ng arc. <laughs> Nobody can stop her from commanding where she places the ball and every single channeling of the triple uh, flex pa naman to. Uy, ayan na. The comfort Akali. Well, flex pa naman yung Akali. Pwede rin naman gamitin ni Chami yun eh. Pero mas bagay kay Aaron yung Akali. Last pick naman ni NGX, kaya pwede sila mag-decision kung saan mapupunta. This is how it's gonna function. You got the body slam. Most likely, siguro yung Gragas bot na eh. Malabu yata mapunta sa ibang lane. Feel ko jungle Jace to. Pero let's see. Maganda boat draft. Evos medyo alam mo na isa niyong lane sila pero solid yung late game nila. Nasus Sena Nasus Sena Shivana. NGX pwede sila mag early game ulit dito. Parang game 1. Stuck ulit sila ng Dragon. Tot sa Ash support, parang pwede naman. Depende sa sitwasyon. Bakit kasi Ash support kaya puro brusko yung kalaban? Tapos pag wala ka ma-wala ka ma-arrow dyan, maganda Ash kapag malalambot lang, pag hindi sila masyado makunat. ADC muna. Really? Jinsa, no? Jinsa nasa sa Shivana. Interesting. Kunat-kunat niya, na? Anong gamit niya last game? Allusion? Pang-poke? More for poke? Ano mo ka nang gamitin dito? Ziggs, no? Ziggs yun ito. Maganda dito, eh. Kahit maging double AP sila. Nakakatawa. Grabe naman. Puro brusko. Oh my goodness. 
Ayun na nga. Ayun na nga. Pagod yung gin niya dito. Puro tanke. Uy, Ari. Try ko minsan, RG. Dalawang beses na ako nakalawa na Ash sa port. Talo sila. Kailangan kasi marunong din pumanay Ash tas may follow-up. Kahit tumama pa na mo kapag wala naman nagpa-follow up, wala. Buti di sila nag-garen. Feel ko ko nakakatakot pag nag-garen tong Evas, nakakatakot eh. Walang magagawa yung Jace Chajin. Minus 2 agad yung NGX pag nag-garen sila. Tapos sakali medyo mahihirapan din kasi wala siya mababurst. Garen top. Jace Jungle, sabi na Jace Jungle siya. But there you go again, parang game one lang. Saivana, once she commits, no way out. Like, you just basically gotta run things through. So, if there's any sort of target that they really wanna eye out on, is to find ways to take down Demon Kite. But, man, Demon Kite, throughout this battle series, he's been holding his own so well. Yun nga dapat mag-spam ka ng ping ult pag pa-pana or pa-pana. Pag solo kit, di ka duo ADC, oo. Butom na. Wait lang, kukuha lang pagkain baka mag-start. Nag-pearl clock na pala. Interesting matchup overall to say the very least. So, it's a skill matchup over mid side. Same can be said over the top. But, yeah, Garen is just gonna do Garen things. So, we won't expect too much out of that. But, Nick Magassi now just fancying their chances to get two back to back wins. Evo side, at least they don't look like they're too bummed out after that sort of loss. Coming in with a quick reset. Like, whenever you have players like Supporter who's always having big smile on his face like uh, I think like it's easy to just get into the new game just feeling fresh yet again it's all about teammates like that yeah, it's all about that PMA right the positive mental attitude and I think supporter definitely brings that for Evos here because it's often seems like the ringleader in terms of bringing the smiles on the Evos as players faces but nevertheless though the smiles might get wiped out soon if uh, they aren't able to take the win of Enigma Galaxy in this second game so it's gonna hinge on the performance here and the Summoner's Rift. So ladies and gentlemen, matchup number three, game number two has just commenced. Let's see how this will unfold. Man of the previous match will be Aaron. They pull off pretty significant clutch plays. Still only way the Elder Drake early on to give team an edge. But now, going up against G4's favorite pick of the Ari. Uh, early on, you just have to dodge out some of all these poke damage that can come out. Looks like he's just gonna have a little bit of a stone plate to soak up all these sort of long range attempts coming in from G4. So, just gotta give a little bit more priority onto the Evo Smith laner. Early wards being placed out. Should be able to eventually spot out Jushi if he ever goes into the river instead. And he's just gonna seek it out, Scar's Boom. Just to okay, okay. So, I just have a little thought here. I mean, given that we're running with, uh, I mean, Ebos is running with a set of Nasus, do you think it's going to be in NGX's best interest to be aggressive early on? <clears throat> Garen and Nectar, let's Try as they may, I don't think it's going to fare pretty well, especially for Craw. Sure, you get a little bit of that double relic field where you can body slam and also just a little bit of a poke, but essentially. He's gonna get worn out. Draw just gotta look after himself for the most part as we see a little bit more room coming out. He was responding in kind. Just trying to get a little bit more priority onto the river instead, but NGX will still get the scuttle nevertheless. And the Marienda mo, pork the chop. Side of the scuttle left for pork chop. You know what, barbecue. And this is the sort of room that they really wanted, and I think Magaxi has been able to get a lot of all these early power due to the fact that they have always rotated to secure that double scuttle. It's that important. It's worth dying for. Mm. 
Well, Jamie at the moment, a bit on the post while Tipper moves to actually secure the skull crab. So, wala, walang pa kasi wana. Walang pa kasi wana sa scuttle. Stuck in the mist. Will clear lang gagawin niya. Down to about half. And then forces a recall to come out from the Akali. These recalls coming through for the Gragas as well. Si, check it out. Grab him around. Up against each other. But the old BBB comes in though. So maybe they might be just for si Chami. Trying to bait out some skills from Chami's side. Hopefully weaken him in a little bit more. But uh, the Garen... Good hold. Hindi siya nag-flash. Alam niya walang stun yung Relicton. Problema pala pag nag... Problema pala pag nag-crug start. May chance na madedenay mo yung second crugs eh. Parang ginawa ni Baldus. Kasi ang bilis mong spawn ng second crugs. Unlike kapag nag-red start, mas malate pa yung spawn ng second crugs. And I just love how reactive the Magaxia has been playing of this game so far. The sort of rotation has been equally matched by draw. Understanding that Triple B. Yung nakaya papay kay Fleur Danaos. Makalaman niya bukas. Jushi. Shock blast. Nice shot. Nice shot on the tipper. It's forcing them to duck into the turret. And Jex, nag-init. Maso parang pangit. May Shibana. So I think the chase is probably gonna have to back off now. Garen is still gonna be left up there. Drag is actually joining up to Jushi. Uy, huli! Sayang na ulti palabas. Pero patay pa rin. Nice. Oh. Kill onto the Ari. So well done. Valdis, not much he could do to even bring a trade. Neither Dominic and Mitt, Luna. At long plus. Major delicate, so that's the first dragon. Unless we trade the Evos. We're gonna trade the Evos, but we're gonna save him. Please give a little bit of shielding. Even that wasn't quick enough. G4, he accepted fate. He he just used his root rush, didn't fly the flash away. He thought he would get out of there safely. But did he suspect that the members are mm. oh. Oh. solo kill? Patay! Oh, oh my dear! Tommy is doing it! And oh my goodness! That was not uh, what Tipper or VVV would have wanted, but unfortunately, with VVV out of the way, it really wasn't much uh, that was supporting the Renex in this case. Basog! Basog on top! Ganda ng ginawa ni Tommy doon! Butas yung top big low! Hmm! Triple Demolish! Kaso nga lang, di pa sapat! Saan sa itong Demolish? Ayos yun ah! Ayun na, Comet! Kaso nga lang, wala na silang pamlaban! Takas na! Sumobra! Masyada lang inasim yung first tower. Napunish tuloy sila dun, sayang. Nabawi yung ano, nabawi yung first blood. And in fact, you're going to continue to push that tier 1 turret while the rest of the team takes the Rift Herald. And that was a great call coming out of Evo's eSports. And they managed to catch the most important target. Garen si Tami, pangalawang Garen na nga yun eh. It's free range to secure those objectives. Yet again, I think we can actually, at least they salvage it by congregating onto the Dragon Stead. Wait lang guys ha. Knock out of Shelly, we'll secure it at the first turn of the game. At least I wanted a Dragon, why not? Take a sign first tower. As I think we can actually, we'll need to find other alternatives to get back up ahead. So far, let's break it down for a little bit. That's a response coming in from Valdez as well as Tipper. Tipper, Definitely supplement with the final stun that he can't turn out with and first land of the killing blow and G4 to accompany to secure a double kill onto Valdis. Now is a different script for her this Shyvana. Two kills up ahead. Things are looking mighty fine. Yeah, much better. Definitely compared to that uh, first game, but uh, nevertheless, it's still very, very close between these two. Still with, uh, within that 1k mark, or maybe it's just a little bit above that 1k mark now, thanks to Evos having taken down those couple objectives. But uh, I digress though, at the moment, NGX still not looking that weak either. They can still afford to fight. And Chami is just trying to keep himself in the zone here. He sees that the turret is so low, but then it's like, can I take this down myself? Yeah. Do I need the minions? 
<laughs> he was thinking about it for a second, but uh, nevertheless, he will back out, rejoin his uh, Jin down in the mid lane. Bit of priority right now in the bottom, as it seems that supporter is caught in a bit of a hard place right now. He doesn't support in G4 and uh, VBV on the B's side, but then they need to try to find an opening here for Porter. Gets a little bit of a link. Now tries to get an aim. Jushi is going to get caught out though. That's Starting a good call. kill. Now they're going to try to see if we can get a second. Happen, what happened? One for a draw, but Demon Kite now comes in. Yeah, they do take out the Dragos though, but Demon Kite now comes in. Does get a kill done on Javaldus. Does my hit, my hit. Onto Javanas. Now, Tommy's carrying off, grabbing on another skill. Tatlong tinatamaan. Nice flush. Does take out stud. Uh, Tipper comes in. Demon Kite. Aims on Demon Kite. Cleans him up. And at least with that done, I think that must come up to maybe a two, uh, two for one. I mean, Tipper can continue to chase because Shami is about half health, and Tipper still has quite a bit of rage left. But uh, never mind. replay. You're gonna hit us off. Pana next start. Eh? Get some uh, priority over the river. And that was still a well fought fight coming in from Nick Nagashi. Oh, nga, 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 comment dito. Kasi ang tatas ng buhay nila eh. Renekton Shibana Nasus. Percentage HP pa naman yung. Percentage HP pa naman yung. Comment. How important that. Rush was from G4 to dive all the way to the back line. Pag mga brusco, good sa good siyong comment. It could have been a little bit more for Evo's esports. Solid chan mi garin, mapapagarin ulit mamaya. Kita mo yung igot niya, tatlong tinatamaan, nakikrit eh. Yung igot niya, tatlong HP na babawasan. Bayad na bayad. For Evo's esports. And so long as they follow more and more gold to this Ari. And of course, anything that Valdis as well as Tipper get will definitely be an added bonus. And we still have this infinite scaling going on for Senna, the Nasus combo, uh, hitting in for Dragon Laners overall. Nick Magaxi. How do you get the third skill? It remains to be safe throughout the course of the battle. Now, yeah. they're going to go for a take two. Yeah. The members of Oops. Nick Magaxi. Oh, but right Tipper. Through. The tipper just goes up in the face and just tells him, "Hey, back up, man! <laughs> this is not your turn." Or lagi siya na kikrit, because he does have backup around, and uh, I think Nigma Galaxy knew that as well. So they're gonna be resetting because uh, next Rip Herald is gonna be coming up soon. So it looks like ah, uh, ilangan dulo. Instead, because that was certainly parang darius uh, lang. Ah, uh, I see. Ang ganon na laman yun na. Kalo ko si Im Davis lang pagtabi, katabi ng or mapad mapadulo, mapatabi. Any options here, and just just need to secure that Rift Herald first. That's all they need to do. But then Evo's now moving in to try to contest this. Nice maybe. sneak. The, the great the great heist. Casa si Justy, nice splash. Wala nang ano, wala nang charm yan. Good dodge, good dodge. Price is averted. Secure a lockdown here, and not even enough to get initiation on these fights. But Demon Kai does let off the Jin ultimate now. Malala. This is trying to use this to defend this tier one turret and success. Bawal mag push. Nice push, bang ano, ganda ng wave clear nila doon. Tapos nabasag daw yung point up. Uy, out mga crowd evos doon ah. Bosebs, parang lakas ng English caster. Bababa na nga eh. Ito na yung last na yan. Yeah, and they've basically committed two elements right there and then just to keep the mid lane for alive. So, Evo's Esports knows for a fact that Raba dun sa ikon siya. Hindi siya na siya miss maker. Okay, next dragon. NGX. Kailangan niya yan. Kailangan niya yan. Mountain. Tapos Infernal. Maganda third. Maganda yung three stocks Infernal. Pag gin ka eh. Bayad na bayad yung amplification eh. Okay, okay. NGX doing some plays. Tamang poke lang. With a gin. Pati Gragas. Yun lang, nabura yung, nabura yung ano, nabura yung Herald. Hindi man lang nakakembot. Parang lakas ng boses ko ha, yung true. Naku po, si Dro, hold up. May Sena. Nice escape. Naburn yung Shivana ulti. Ipit yan, ipit yan i pag pinilit nila. Gusto nila pinilitin yun kasi naka Shibana ulti na eh. Uy, sayang ulti na ano. Yun, napa-flash out. Kuha na, kuha na Dragon. Uy, yung smite! Woo! Muntik na. Nice. Napaagas mic ni Jashi dun ah. Uy, si Iron. Nice. 
Ipit. Yung ibus. Hinahalik ka nalang yung pader. Luging lugi yata sila sa late game. Lugi lang. Pero hindi naman luging lugi. Parang game 1 lang. Ganon din. Pero pag gasta ka ng NGX ton dragon, pabor to pag lalo na infernal. Pag nakuha nila infernal, Jin Jace. Pabor. Sa Akali. Three dragons sa ko. Lakay ng lakim bagay na na burn nila yung ulti ng Shivana. Na force talo yung Evos magstart ng dragon. Tapos nung inistart ng Evos yung dragon, wala na lugi na sila sa ano? Lugi na sila sa pwesto. Bayan? Pati ba na yung pagkain ko ng pork chop? Nagawa ng page. Oh. Saksak. Sayang. Napagdasal pa yung Nasus. Pwede mag-serpent pang itong si ano eh. Si Jace. Para sa Sena. Sena Nasus. Pero di naman niya kailangan. Magsasunder siya kasi puro brusko. Pwede rin. Shivana kasi kaya nila kahit ane. May gragas naman sila tapos Jin para sa may gragas talaga ulti lang yung Shivana boset na yun eh. Malakas Shivana kapag nakapalo. Problema kasi di nakakapalo Shivana niya eh. Madalas lagi siyang kinakahit or may or nagpo-focus sa ibang bagay. Tapos may garen pa naman. Si Chami auto ulti lagi si Shivana eh para tanggal agad yung carry eh. Ayun, stone plate na. Naisipan na ni Baldos mag stone plate. Which end? Ayaw niya mag GA. G pangunta sa Garen eh. Para at least pag nasaksak ka, boy ka pa din. Ngayon, medyo pong sumasakit na. Tatlo na item niya. Wala pa namang armor yung ano, Evos. Puro sila damage eh. Ang tayo na dyan. Uy, 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 chill, chill. Walang ganyanan, walang ganyanan. Ang Evos di sila proactive, no? I mean, di sila ganun ka-aggressive. Napapansin ko pag mga licensee, naging aggressive lang yung... Oh, never wait lang. Naburo yung Akali! Aari pala! Kaso nga lang yung Shivana nakakapalo, men. Trade 1 for 1, support for mid. Oop, laban-laban. Kiting, kiting, kiting. Palong-palo. Palo lang, Jin. Palo lang. Ayun. Pumasok yung ano, Renekton. Yun. Nice one. Kited malala. Puro sila piso. Outplayed, outplayed. Na-outplay ang Evos ah. Gumagawa na ba execute na relic sa range? Yes sir. Ayun na, naka-serpents pang na nga. Kaka sabi ko lang, binili niya. Renega, oh. Third Dragon, NGX, Third Dragon, for the win. Come on. Come on, NGX. Kaya-kaya niya sa teamfight. Wala silang mahanap na solusyon. Hindi sila makapalo na maayos, eh. 
Nasa Ari kasi Ari lang kasi yung hard engage nila. Kailangan gawin ng Evos dito. Pag may na charm ng Ari, burst agad nila. Oh no, kasi medyo pangat po ito. Pangat ang pwesto na NGX. Steal, 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 Lods! Uh, sayang. Oh well. Pangat. Free hit yung Jin, kaso wala. Nangawa, nagwawala yung ano, Dragon Min. Yung Dragon! Ang sakit! Tapos na yata ang lul. Oh my goodness! Pangat ang pwesto na doon. Ngayon problema sa Jin eh. Wala siya magawa. Puro mo brusko. Nag-ulti lang siya dun. Apat na bala lang naambag ng Jin sa clash na yun. Yung siya ba na nanggigigil na eh. So, yun. Nagwawala yung Dragon Min. Nawaan-wan pa nga. Sayang, sayang. Nakapalo yung si... Oo nga eh. Di na dapat kasi nagkakite yung NGX front to back. Ang nangyari, nagfull... Di sila nakapagkite eh. Nagsuntukan sila malala dun. Pag suntukan malala, walang atrasan. Lamang talaga NGX. Ay, lamang talaga EVOS. Pero pag nakapagkite yung NGX, lamang kaya nila gawa ng parang yung Shivana. Kita mo yung last clash. Lahat sila nag-dogpile na dun eh. Kahit free hit yung Jin, ta, eh, wala siyang mapatay. Wala pa silang exhaust. Oh, it's either... Hindi, kahit may exhaust, pag naka-free hit talaga siya, Vana sa ganun. Tignan mo, lahat ng clash. Lahat ng clash na nangyari na nanala yung GX, di nakapalo siya, Vana, eh. Kaya sila nakalamang, eh. The moment na maka-free hit yung Shivana, tapos lang, lol. Tapos ang, tap, tapos ang mundo. Ito yung Shivana, nakakapalo siya. Pero Gragas lang, tapos ayun na. Ayun, hindi na siya nakapalo mo. Kinakite na siya. Oh, hindi siya makapalo. Ayun, kahit malala. Tuwing papalo yung Shivana, may nagsazonya, may nagdadash. Kaya nanala sila dito. Oh, ganda ng kaito. Oh. Dito talaga nakapalo si Vana, nagwawala siya dito. Tapos namatay agad yung Grag. Ayun oh, boom! Naghali, di sila nakagalaw eh. Tapos nair yata sila nakakali, di rin na, ay, na Sena. Di rin nakagalaw yung, di rin nakagalaw yung akali dun eh. Nai, na ano na, na choke point. Naipit yung NGX sa choke point eh. Kasi ang bilis mawala ng Dragon. Finors sila, kahit pangat ang pwesto. Pangat ang pwesto yung NGX dun. Ginamit nila yung pang-kite nila para mag-engage. Kasi kailangan na gusto para makuha nila yung Dragon kasi it's too late. Dapat may nagsazone. Wala, mahirap din kasi yung line-up ng NGX. Ano sila eh, more on... Lugi talaga sa teamfight, kung titigil mo yung comp. Na-outplay lang nila yung EVOS, kaya nananala sila sa ibang teamfight. Ang hirap patayin yung nasus Shibana Renekton pag magkatabi yung tatlo. Tsaka mawawalan din ang bawa sa Garen barang balang araw, kahit Garen yan. Wala ang makapag-zone sa Shibana. Kailangan lang mabay time, ganun. So, Sayang, sayang. Dinadaanan sa scaling ah. Everybody just say, let's let's put all the chips on the table, and if they take it, so be it, yeah. right? Baway, baway, may game three pa naman, game three. Puro si Bana to si Baldus kaya na. Yung mat the Thailand si Bana, the Thailand dragon, golden feet, golden feet, cakasi Baldus, puro si Bana. 
monster, uh, the partner as well, uh, Monster Energy, they will be unleashing the beast, hopefully, when it comes to game number three. So go ahead and check out Monster Energy at monsterenergy.com slash gaming, by the way, guys. And of course, join us in the conversation on our Discord server, discord.gg slash Snapdragon Pro Series is where you want to be at in order to discuss all the ongoings here at the Snapdragon Pro Series. So now that Game Tree is on the cards, it's going to be coming up soon after we take a short break here. My name is Victor Cash, joining me is Contra. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. The Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming and Monster Energy. The ball, win the ball. Yung Wild Rift pala nagbago ng icon. Nakazoom in na yung mukha ni Jinx. Kala mo horror game eh. Rolling into game three of the Snapdragon Pro Series, of course, brought to you by ESL. It's Contra here alongside with Vic the Cax as we have Evos tying the scores with Nick Bugaxi. And then we still can't decide who's the clear oh. winner between these two. Where both of these matches were just neck and neck, and they are basically just equally matched. It was just high quality matches throughout both ends of the spectrum. And this time around, Valdez have got his glorious moments throughout the course of the battle. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Evil decides to ban out the Shivanas in this next round here because he was absolutely killing it in that draft. Let's go NGX, true. KDA, NGX win, boys. Seven kill participation percentage, uh, 968.1 uh, gold per minute, 1178.8 DPM, and 738.1 damage taken here. Valdez absolutely of uh, being the master of this second game here has certainly gotten quite a few moments there that certainly uh, clinched uh, the victory here for Evos. Yeah, it's the way that he's been approaching it a little bit more differently. Sure, they, he may have lost a couple of all these uh, dragons. We forgive him for that, <laughs> but he's been able to basically uh, outnumber uh, the rest of Nick Bagassi in the form of damage that he could basically turn in uh, those second of those moments out there and of course now down to this final hour for both of these teams here to settle the score so i just need you to basically lay a finger on who's gonna win just, just oh, oh, come on. Throw it out. <laughs> just i'm putting you throwing you under the bus uh, so what? throwing me under the bus okay. seriously I, I, don't think I have the strength to do that <laughs> uh, honestly but but okay just take a pick like oh man well, when it comes down to both styles of play which do you think is actually is your favorite because we see like this is like a sword and spear sort of situation or i, I don't know what this is honestly <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's so tough it's honestly it's so so tough between the two of them i think uh for the most part maybe the maybe like if if evos is able to get shivanas again in his third game then maybe i'll hand it to them <laughs> so yeah it, but it really depends because like it's uh, impossible to tell just uh, based on these uh, couple performances My game. because uh, or are we when, when ngx blue side uh, happy streaming oh, thank you jay dean uh, Reb three years now now follows hey wow being very calculative about how uh, Valdis uh, was able to uh, perform in a game. Happy three years. Coming into this one here. Oh, binanay Shivana. No more. Uh, no more dragon. Ayaw na namin ng scaling. Suntukan sa suntu. Suntukan sa suntukan. I'm going to stick with my prediction, which was maybe Nigma might still clinch it, unless Evos can somehow pull up another brilliant uh, draft here. Oh, to ban talaga yung ano? Kasa din, kasa din Z sa red side. Asa para sa Evos. Tanggal lason. Well, when you do ban a Shivana on the very first draft itself, that only opens up more opportunities out there. And you know, things are it's getting Coach TG. a whole lot more Coach TG Pogos. TG's basically whipping open that book. Yep. So he's about to... <laughs> oh, yeah, he ayaw na lang mag-first pick karma. What they have in the galaxy. Interesting. Ano kaya plano nila yung first pick? Yeah. Something to offer. So, ano ang plano? Coming from Nigma, there's still... A few options left on the table. Bah. Evos have to choose. Is it going to be a Yumi or could it be a Lucian? They do act on the Lucian instead. So, the Bagaxi. Oh, Yumi. Interesting. Is this will be. 
Hindi naman nila kailangan ni first pick yung Yumi. Bin ah, kasi gusto nila first pick yung ano, may lose, may karma lotion pa. Okay, gets. Oh, ay Sena, Sena, good. Good start, good start. Pinoy ba yung coach nila? O, Pinoy yung coach nila? It's okay, it's okay. O nga na, binana-injects kanina, Morgana. Lisin na yata. Usually, pag mga game 3, game 3, laging Lisin to si Jasche eh. Unless may bago siyang... Unless nagbago na siya. Nasus Renekton, NGX, let's go. Pwede po, pwede mag-allap si Jasche dito. Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix sa Morgana. Hmm, sakto lang. Ayaw na niya maging alay. Ganda sana Olaf dito. Oh, ba't yan? Ba't nauna yung Nautilus sa kabila? Ano yan? Ah. What is happening? Rod, baka naman. Ano standing na argue? Ano yan? 2-0? 2-0? Panala sila. Gusto ko sana Renex Stone. Tapos pwede naman siya mag-Kazix mamaya or Olaf. Hindi na, binan na yung Garen. Ayaw na namin ang Garen Renekton. Fiora na yata ni Chami to eh. Fiora, ano pa ba pwede sa Renekton? Jax. Fiora, Jax. Riven. Tatlo pala. Fiora, Jax, Riven. Ang Justy ba yan kay Doggy yan sa Wild Rift? Oh, same. Same guy. Bantap. May na wala ng Jax. Heal ka Riven eh. Pinakabagay para sa Sena din. I think it's a Riven. Unless, Akali. Akali top. Ewan ko lang yung matchup na yun. Pina-force sila mag-Joke Morgana Jungle. May Ziggs pa. Di sila nagba ng Ziggs. Ayun, inagawa na Riven. Ba? Itong ibos ha. May pa ganun. Inuubos yung picks ni Chami. Pag ginalit si Chami, magtitirin the mere top yan. Bahala kayo. Kinuha nga. Renekton mid. Or even mid. Oh, tapos na pala eh. Si Aaron dati yung Chule. Oo, siya yun. Corky? Wow, Shen. Hmm. Okay naman line-up nila, Shen. Shen Nasus frontline, Core Kick, Senna, tas Kha'Zix sa gilid. Raven Jungle. Raven Jungle, Morgana bot. Alam kasi nila Senna eh, kaya okay lang din mag Morgana bot. Guard the Olaf dito. Uy! Ako naman mag-aakali. Parang mas gusto ka line-up ng EVOS dito. Pero ka may window sa opportunity naman tong NGX. 
By the by, yung Serpent's Fang. Pag nag-Serpent's Fang, to, eh, sino pwede mag-Serpent's Fang sa Evos? Riven Serpent's Fang? Wasak yung ano, wasak yung shielding ng Nasus. Sena pati Shen, pag nag-Serpent's Fang. Pero wala naman silang, wala naman pwede mag-itemize itemize nun. Riven lang kung sakali. Riven or Renekton. But really, it's going down to Judge Malas pa yung Evos. Oh, sila top 1 sa Thailand. Winnable, winnable. Chami naging ano, tank man for today ah. Sa bagay, Renekton lagi katapat ni. Hindi na siya nagkitrain Damir sa Renekton. Nirespeto na yung kalaban. Dati walang pakailang si Chami kahit Renekton katapat niya. Kinakontra niya sa sarili niya tapos bawi na lang sa teamfight. Manganda set ng NGX dahil sa Shen. Sige. Hindi ko naman sinasabi sure doon sa NGX. Mas gusto. Sabi ko lang, sinabi ko lang, mas gusto ko tignan yung lineup ng Ebos. Pero okay naman din yung lineup ng NGX. Balanced sila. Balanced. Well balanced. Quirky scaling. 10 front line. Tapos, Kha'Zix para mahanap ng mga out of position, mga malalambot na targets. Shion. Wala na ako nakakita ng Sion eh, no? Wala na nagsasion. Sion mid. Sion mid, Sion top, Sion bot. Sion na Sena na Asus pa rin. Triple stack Riven. Ang ambala na nerf din yung Sion, no? Pero okay lang, palakas pa rin naman. Ayun na. Nakitrending na rin si Demon Kite. Nag-shield na rin siya. Kanina, long sword, long sword siya eh. Ngayon, nag-ano na rin, relic shield. Ganda kasi ng 500 gold tapos ang daming stats na makukuha. Sulit na rin. Hindi ka mabibiyayin sa gold tapos may free stats pa pag na-upgrade. Kaya bayad na bayad tong support item eh. Good yung Serpent's Fang. Alam ko di ko maga na Serpent's Fang sa Magic Shield eh. Not sure, not sure. Pero hindi naman ganun ka worth. I mean, pwede naman siya mag-serpent. Sa Riven lang naman yung magagamit. Tsaka Morgana. Hindi siya ganun ka worth. As compared kapag nag-serpent fang yung Evos, yan ang worth. Tatlo. Tatlo mababasag niyang shield. Ba't tuloy naka-relic? Wala na yung bagong meta eh. Cost efficient kasi. 500 gold. Isipin mo 500 gold ang makukuha mo is pag fully upgraded. Wait lang ah. Pakita ko sa yung patch. Ay, tignan ko lang yung stats na binibigay. Ang binibigay na stats kapag fully upgraded, makukuha mo 200 HP, 100 ability haste, tapos cooldown sa enchantment pag nakapatay. Or 500 gold, worth na worth na yun. Uy, E-Flash Okay Naku, pangat ng pwesto Lugi sila sa Raven, Q-Flash yan Ayan eh, walang flash yung Raven Oh no Ba't nag-invade? Di ko nakita, di ko tinignan kung ba't nag-invade si ano dun Lugi sila sa early eh Kha'Zix Kha'Zix Sena Nasus Coming in wala pang wala pang ambag sa mundo ang Kha'Zix pag di pa 5. Riven, ang daming binabato. White Shield? Oh, White Shield. Takpan mo mapa, mas stream snipe. Okay. Ba't hindi naglaro si Marky? Sa ano pa siya, sa Thailand pa siya lalaro. 
uh, pretty much through that uh, area. So no matter how you cut it, NGX was certainly going to be in for a bad time uh, the moment they decided to set foot inside their own jungle. So nevertheless, though, with them backing out, damage not too severe, though. Uh, the Kung baga yung 500 gold da support item worth 1k na siya kapag na-evolve mo. Late game, sino lamang dito? Actually, lamang yung NGX late game dito ah. Medyo, medyo lamang. Problema lang sa NGX, wala silang split na... Well, pwede naman mag-split yung Shen. Pero kaya siyang tat kaya siyang tapatan. Winnable, winnable. Hindi siya katulad ng mga previous game na na luging lugi sa late game kailangan nila daanan sa outplay. Dito kahit papaano front to back. Pag na pag natiis ng nasus ano to, pag natiis ng nasus Shen yung front to back kaya kaya. Need lang nila magingat sa Akali. Last ano nabat na wala si Devil G sa Arhi, ba ba hiram lang siya. Di hiram si Devil G. Nagre-roster lang. Nis ko sa 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 Shen maganda siya kapag may ano kayo proactive jungler, mga Lee Sin, ah Sin Chow, ano pa ba mga basa mga strong jungler tapos strong lane para magamit mo yung ulti ng Shen. dapat kasi pag Shen kayo proactive yung ulti, gagamitin yun para mag five v four yung team fight, hindi yung pang res po lang. Para mas worth it. Uy, kinakancel. Oh, di nakancel. Sayang, hinulda pa na Renekton. Cancel sana Riven to, no? Deny, delay. Oh, si Chami. Oh, solo kill. Kaso na agaw. Nice. Nice ulti. Okay. Kaso nga lang yung ano package. Okay lang, panalo sila dyan. Panalo sila dyan. Nice, NGX. Nakapu. Yung Akali. Aray! Yung Akali nagwawala. Paluin nyo. Man ako may barrier pa. Oh no. Pinalo pa niya yung minion. So, ayun, outplayed na ni Chami yung Renekton eh. Kaso nga lang, masyado sila nag-init. Hinatay yung Corky pagka-packaging niya eh. Di na siya nakagalaw. Masyadong mainit, masyadong mainit. Nagaw pa Herald ako eh. Nice. Ngayon na yung mga Busco Brothers. Okay. Isolated. Isolated cast ng Renekton. Winnable. Wala yung Riven. Ah, wala yung Akali. Okay, okay. Okay. Wala ng mana yung Gragas. Tamang trade lang. Worth, worth. 2-4-3. Problema nila dito ngayon yung Akali. Nihirap yung Akali dito, sabi na eh. Sat sa ulo talaga Akali. Wow! An actual normal Corky build. Di siya ano, Cleaver. Manam yung Triforce. By time, walang jungle. 
May ulti pa naman yung Shen. Walang jungle. Hmm. Ah, yung kakali, men. Oh my god, the 4v5 sila. Yung patay yata. Nice, ton. Takas na. Takas na, boys. Kaya yata nila yan, eh. Pag may taunt yung Shen. Nasa akin, dito mama. Wala nang mga na yung Morgana. Wala nang mga ambag yan. Literal auto attack na lang. Kaso nga lang, trabaho lang yung Renekton sa top. Uy! Sayang piso. Pero kaya yata patayin si Valdus. Nice one! Ang pinakamaganda dito is hindi masyado, kahit medyo scrappy yung teamfight. Ang nangyari dito is nakuha na injection dragon, tapos hindi sila masyadong behind sa gold. So kahit ganito yun, kahit 0-3 yung core key, importante nakakapera, nakakaano yung NGX sa gold. Hindi sila masyadong behind. So long as members of Enigma Galaxy gets tagged here, I'm talking about Chami as well draw right here, which is going to be a little bit of a nuisance for G4 to seek out the backline eventually. And Aaron's not going to be having an e easy time for uh, G4 to just easily hop upon. So Aaron first will have to make a little bit of a difference here. Evil's oh, position yung ano? May ulti pa naman yung Shen. Steel! Sayang! Hindi naagaw! Ayun, binura! Ako pa nga. Takas na, guys! Nice Valka. Nice package! Ipit yung ano? Ipit yung Akali! Nice! Ganda ng package si Aaron doon. Perfect! Nabawi nila. Nahiwalay yung apat eh. Di sila makapasok dahil sa package. Naipit yung Akali. Worth, worth. Nakuha pa nila mid tower. Sobrang importante. Makuha nila mid tower. Winnable, winnable. Anong advantage ng 2 relic? Mas, mas, mas marami kayong makuha ang gold. Overall. Tapos free upgrade. Partida, wala pa nagawa yung Kha'Zix dun. Sayang, di lang nakuha yung Herald, but it's okay. Hindi mayaman yung Riven, which is good. Walang, medyo walang magagawa si Baldus dito sa game na to. Unlike yung mga previous games, si Bana kasi siya eh. Kaya, kahit mga pag-scale lang, okay lang. Riven kasi kailangan ng pera. Eh, wala siyang pera ngayon. Halos same lang sila ng gold ng Gragas, so. Hindi makaporma si Baldus. Di ba yung ADC ng EVOS BRU dati? Hindi, ano lang sub. Sub lang siya sa BRU. Kasi di makapunta yung main ADC. Scale lang mga NGX boys In Corky we trust Nasa Corky ang ano eh Pag-asa eh Corky pati yung Sena Pag maganda yung tali ng Sena Goods yun Si Chami binubugbog lang yung Renekton no Oh, ban mo patap ko ah Ban mo patap ko Nungubos sila yung champion pool ni Chami Kahit tank siya, kaya ang kaya ka pa din eh But in the meantime, those are NGX is already focused on their next objective, which is going to be that next Drake. It's going to be an infernal one, so definitely a very, very important one here for NGX. That's right. And that was really a 
a tough luck for Evos where Invite yata si VVV. Ay, invite pa talaga yung main team niya. Basta di siya BRU. Oh, good package. Ipit yung Akali. Basta may ipit lang yung Akali. Jungle diff. Nice one. Wala pa pala jungle nila doon. Dragas 1 HP. Ganda ng SS ng Morgana. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. Nakuha naman yung Dragon. Nakuha naman yung Dragon. It's worth. Ata, question mark. Ganda ng pasok ng ano doon, ng Morgana. Di nila agad na patay yung ano, di nila agad na patay yung Akali. Push na lang, Tore. Hindi lang. Sabayan lang sa scale. Ah, Kaze Taruler. Ah, I see, I see. Awit naman sa beer. Okay lang yan. Importante may dras. Lamang pa rin naman sa scaling. Kailangan lang normal na normal na suntukan. Pag magulo kasi yung teamfight, pabor sa Ibos eh. Puro sila bruiser. Yung NGX, mas bagay sa kanila yung front to back. Tapos maglilinis yung Kha'Zix. Hindi kasi alam kung saan pupunta yung Sena tsaka Corky pag gumagulo yung laban eh. Hindi sila makapag-FF ng same target. Buboy pa rin papala yung first story nito. Pasag yata. Kung wala ka liwala soon siya. Tapos o. Kailangan lang gawin siguro na injects pag na, pag na-burn nila yung second skill na Kali doon sila gogo. Force lang nila tapos kahit back. Dami na kong pera ng Evos sa ano na. Pushing naman yung bot kaya di mapupush ng Evos yung bot. Mid top lang makapaglaro yung Evos. Hindi na lang na slow push yung bot. Anyway, Tipper has already pushed the minions. Thanks to the Baron buff, all the way to the tier trees now. The inhibitor may not be long for this world here, but uh, Evos just holding the siege for now, waiting for the next round of minions to come through the mid, and seeing if they can find an opening. The problem is, BB has a chunk of health taken out from him at the moment. Oh, sakit! Ayun, no? Nice bind! Huli! Throwing! Nice throw! Huling huli, ah! Ganda ng tali ng Sena doon. Nag-choke yung Akali. Nag-ulti papasok. Saved. Okay, na-burn na yung Baron. Nag-bigti, eh. Ult sa kamatayan. Uy, mandate na, sus. Interesting. Imbis na Leandri. Worth it ba? Mandate na. So, simbis na Leandri. Pwede ka Leandri eh. Pero, pwede rin mandate. Okay, okay. Stabilize. Tignan mo yung Baron power play nila. Same gold. Pag same gold, kayang-kaya yan. Kayang-kaya na inject sa same gold. O, nag-e-effect gumagana sa 3rd plus Ryla yung mandate. Pero one time proc lang kasi yun eh. Tsaka sa Wither gumagana din. Pag natalo yung NGX, auto laglag niya. Wala pang malalaglag dito. Yung Persis pala yung laglag. Echo, pag natalo yata sila bukas, laglag niya. Ano ba yung Sena support? Seagull or Relic? Pag solo queue ka, pag solo queue ka, Relic. Ay, sorry, Seagull. Seagull ka, solo queue. Mag-relic ka lang kapag magda-double relic kayo. Item lock na yung aso. Hindi nalalakas yan. The scales of balance never tip too heavily to one end. Now Baron is coming out. We already see Evos in position to try to hold off if uh, hold up NGX should they try to 
Oh, pulley, hold up. Tipi ka pa sa gilid, ah. So, ayan, okay lang. Na-burn, burn, burn. Wala nang, wala nang ulti Renekton sa Dragon. Worth na yun, worth. Uy, papatayin pa yata. Ginigil niya si Jaschi. Oh, jabated. Ulti Shen. Di tumama na spell shield. Yun lang, masyadong umasim. Oh, chill, chill, guys. Takas na. Buti nakatalon pa. Trabaho lang si Aaron. Sa baba. Wala na silang spell. Wala na silang spell. Nice. Triple Dragon NGX. Di pa. Okay na. NGX ato guys. NGX ato. Out of position Evos. Nag all in sila sa Kha'Zix. Di na lang mapatay eh. O iba palitan relic late game o. Pag ganito pwede na tanggalin yung relic. Pag may mabubukang item benta mo na yung relic. One risky call with Aaron not being part in that river to participate in that skirmish. Planado yata. Basically, mm, just plan. guys, buy time and I will make wonders and they match you at least. Pinamaganda din ako na yung tatlong yeah, dragon so tapos scaling kompa sila. At this point in time, does gold matter? Yes, it still does. They haven't finished it. Major risky. Major risky ginawa ng Edgex doon. Pero nag-pay off naman. Ayun, nag-J na yung ano. Goodbye. Kailangan mag-J yung Corky eh. Baka machambahan pa siya ng Akali. Mataas naman yung bawas niya kahit di siya mag-J eh. I mean, kahit di siya mag-crit. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Oop. Just cheat. Tamang kite lang. Si Dross sinasalubong mo doon. Nice tone. Three man. Naipit yung Renekton. Panalo na NGX dito. Nakikita ko na ang susi. Si Just may ano pa? May zone niya pa. Patay na si G4. Diretso sa goal. Okay. Hmm. Na out of position yung Evos doon ah. Di mabuhat ng... Di, na, di mabuhat ng akali na mag-isa. Masyadong behind kasi yung Riven eh. Hindi siya nakakatakot. Wala siya masyadong pera. Wala sila. Ay, may jungler pa sila. Oop, oop. No throw. No throw NGX. Yan, yan, yan. Patayin, patayin nyo lang. Easy. Wala nang buhay si Jaschi. Walang plus yung Riven. Hindi siya makakapasok dyan. Ayun na, pinilit. Nice ulti ng Sena. Nice. Tapos ang lol. Tapos ang lol. Tapos may Elder pa. Sarap. Baron Elder. Pag natalo, dinaya. Namatay ba yung G? Namatay yung Corgi? Hindi ka nakita paano namatay. Pero number yung GE niya. Yaman na. Okay lang. Baron Elder. Baron Elder pa rin yan. Tapos ang lol. NGX win, boys. Huge, huge, huge win. Wala kayong win yung NGX dito kasi madedenay yun nila yung Evos para magano para makapasok sa playoffs eh. Tapos mas madali sila makapasok sa Thailand. Ay na, nagwawala ang NGX brothers natin. Gigil na, flashing in. Uy, si G4. Ala, nag-AFK. Ang ginawa niya. <laughs> Nag-comment of control word daw. Akala yata makita kakali doon. Si G4, sumuko na eh. Tumayo na lang siya. Huwag mo muna batihin. Ay, pag, namat, pag natalo pa NGX dito, kasalanan nila to. Imposible mata. Triple Dragon, scaling composition. Tapos may Elder Baron pa. Ay, pag natalo kayo, quit lol. Quit lol malalap malamang. GG's! Nice win, nice win. But maraya support item dulo ulit. Gold efficient kasi tas di ka mabibihain sa gold. Kasi sobrang tas ang bigay ng gold ng gold ng support item eh. Chokery, no? Intro boys. Na-intro boys ang Evos dun ah. Hindi na nakaporma ka Ali. Next game, ano prediction ko? Team Flash. Ayan, di ka na-unfollow si Rebs. Huwag ko na ano ah. Parang ano yata, 3 games. Walong dragon yata nakuha ng NGX sa buong series. Isang dragon lang nakuha ng Evos. 8 dragons to 1 dragon sa buong series. Open lang talaga tulong pag nakuha yung mga dragon eh. Dito medyo delikado teamfight nila. Pero okay lang. Scaling, scaling. Natanggalan lang yung Shibana eh. 
the Thailand Kibana. Sakto yung CD ng SS ng Sena tsaka Naso, so kaka-up lang. Sulit na sulit. Triple B flashes over the wall, but was met with so many of all these oppressive members. Good job, good job. Basic. Isang ano na lang, isa na na lang. Ayun bagay, dalang ba? Medyo kayang kain na lang buwas. Huwag lang sila magano, chuk buwas. Eko yata kalaban may buwas. Saan pala NXP dati? Ayun, dalawa member nila nandito sa NGX. Pumuso, pumuso. Kaya si Chami, no? Binugbog niya Renek top gap. Tinalo niya yung top ng kalaban. Tatlong game Renek ton. Tinalo niya. Kay Chen. Ilalive mo pa? Hindi ko na ilalive. Last ko na to. Ah, sa second ng morgue na matay Corky. Okay lang, okay lang. Good job, good job. 2PH for the win. Bukas ulit, bukas ulit. Ayun lang, ayun lang. Salamat sa pagdaod. And bukas ulit ang next co-stream. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye. Dalin ko na lang kayo sa mainstream para sa para sa interview. Nakaka-apply na pala ako pa-accept na lang po. Sige, sige. Sige.